Hello, everyone. How are you doing? Happy Wednesday. Hap I said happy. This music is so sad. <laughs> but it's so powerful. What is this song? It's called Rose Colored... Wait, where's the rest of the song name? Rose Col Colored Faith? Rose Colored Faith from my royalty-free tracks, in case you were wondering. Yeah. So sad. So sincere. It's like, uh, just asking for your emotions to come forward, you know? And you're just like, stop! Please, stop! <laughs> no! <laughs> Respectfully, sir! <laughs> Alright, everyone, welcome on in. Welcome to Wednesday. We are doing more gaming. I'm playing Life is Strange OG. Oh, I'll turn down the music a little bit. A little excessive, huh? So yeah, we are picking up where we left off a couple weeks ago. I know I skipped last week, but but you know, it was for a good cause. It was for the Hollow Barista launch. Uh, but we're playing Life is Strange, the OG back from 2015, literally like that one, not the remastered, because it won't even load on my computer. <laughs> so we're gonna start episode three of Life is Strange today. So it's uh, it's been two weeks. I'm gonna have to refresh my memory, but um, why don't you guys tell me do you remember where we left off? <laughs> Have you played this game before and you already know what happens? Or, you know, all, all those kinds of questions. Like, where are you with Life is Strange? Have you never heard of it? You're just like joining and you're just like, hi, I'm strange, so you called? As a summary, our bot's awake. Wow, it's a miracle. Simply is playing Life is Strange, a narrative choice-based game about a small town senior who can rewind time and change her choices. Rated mature. Viewer discretion advised. No spoilers, please. Welcome to the mods, of course. We've got a melon in the chat. Oh, stream elements is working. You, you yourself are strange and unusual. Learned about it through me. I think we left after the hot guy takes the gun away. I'm <laughs> gonna have to have my memory refreshed. Thank you, Mike. Hello. Happy hump day. Oh yeah, it's Wednesday again. Loving this game on my nails. I have I'm over brew and red flake taco. <gasps> I like that. That's like spicy Valentine's Day. But swatching the new collection, crushed hollow is heart eye emoji. Yes, thank you so much. Um, people have been getting these in the mail. It's very exciting. The team is still shipping out, but people have started getting them. It's it's like incredible. I love seeing the, the coffee manis. Yes, I have black on this nail. This is one coat black. I'm wearing it as a topper. It's a really good topper. It covers in one coat. Thank you, Laura Lou. Thought yesterday was Wednesday. Was it? Imagine. Imagine it's Thursday and I'm just like all fucked up here. <laughs> I was sad I was gonna miss this stream, so glad I was wrong. Looking forward to you continuing Life is Strange. Yeah, it's Wednesday, right? That's what my calendar says. <laughs> Some of you know what this stage means. When just the middle nail on just the left hand is one coat black. You know what that means. You know me too well. I literally like can't even try to hide things because you'll just be like, I know what you're doing. This is the problem with live streaming. <laughs> There's no hiding. So I'm freezing. <laughs> Why? <laughs> my taskbar says it's snowing. Why does Windows do this? Like my Mac does not do this to me. It doesn't remind me what the outdoors is like when I'm comfortably indoors. <laughs> like, I mean, maybe it's a setting you can change, but this Windows PC just always taunts me when there's like a snowstorm or whatever on the taskbar. It just says like snow warning with giant red letters. Why? Microsoft, why? Bill, what did I do to you? Hello, currently at homesick and usually only catch Wednesday stream on VOD, so excited to watch. Woo, homesick, watching games. That's the best. I mean, I hope you do get better. <laughs> excited, wearing love spell on my nails. That's a good Valentine's shade. Uh, Menchie's not here. Yeah, I don't know. She sends her regards. She says she wished she could make it, but instead she's hanging out on the kitchen stool, so. <laughs> Hello, Sim Simply wanted to ask.
ask how you like The Last of Us so far. Also, any suggestions for nail art I should do while watching? Um, nail art while watching? I mean, like, I don't, that's such an open-ended question. It depends what you have. You could do like a gradient of unicorn skins over your favorite color or like hollow of choice. People should do that more. Like sponge on unicorn skins and then gradient them down so it looks like a frosted falling snowflake, but without needing to do like complicated nail art. It's like a French tip, but unicorn skin gradient. Did that make sense? Okay. <laughs> uh, and then you'd ask about uh, Last of Us. So we watched episode two. It's good. Maybe, like, I won't get too into detail in case some people haven't watched and don't want spoilers, but it's that zombie game that I played with Ben on his stream. It's not just the zombie game. <laughs> people are like, it's more than that. Yeah, I know. I get it. I get it. Um, okay, sorry. <laughs> um, but it's good. I really like the beginning of the episodes, how they're kind of going into the history and the science. I always find that most fascinating about dystopian or what, what you would think is kind of unrealistic scenarios. I like background context and how the world devolved into that kind of madness. So I hope that the story continues to explore more of that. Maybe it's just like the intro cutscene, but that's what I'm like most paying attention to personally. Ben likes it for like the zombie bites and killing and shit, you know, and, like that kind of stuff. <laughs> it's, it's probably most people like it for. <laughs> the lack of scissors is sad. There was no scissors. Yeah, I definitely was hoping to find more scissors, but you know, we have more episodes to go. Thank you, Carrie, for the super chat. Got my barista collection yesterday, so I'm doing a Skittle ombre for today. So excited to watch you play this episode. I'm ready for your chaotic play style. Will someone die? I mean, I hope not. In this game, when you die, it's like really sad. In other games, when I've died, it's just chaotic. But you know, I managed to make anything chaotic, so we'll see. <laughs> Fun rewinding all those outcomes. Okay, I did see feedback that people were giving me about this game and I think it's totally fair because you know whatever I've, I've I didn't really grow up on games like this is that I should be making use of the rewind function more than I have been I think I initially hesitated because I didn't want it to just end up in me constantly redoing every action because that'd be really really fucking annoying so I just was like I'm not gonna do it <laughs> But I think you do have to do it a couple times to kind of make the game make more sense. So I'll try and find that balance. Thank you, Diana, for using your member chat. I'm up at home sick today. So many sickies just finished Stray last night and cried at the end. I know Stray was so sad. I just wanted to see with the friends, his kitty friends. <laughs> Yeah, so many people are sick. Have some tea. Okay, let's get out our tea first before I open up the game. Cheers. I'm drinking um, Melbourne Brekkie. I know, it's 5 p.m. I don't care. I drink black tea morning, evening, middle of the night. It's all good. It's just so like warm and whole and roasted and comforting and I'm so cold, you know, so I kind of need it. Why didn't my stream bot go off today? That's so weird. What? I mean, sorry, I'm not making any sense. The um the Discord ping didn't go off. Okay, hold on, let me just do that. I don't think it's gone off on Wednesdays. For a while, that's very weird. Okay, sorry. Give me a moment, please. Please hold. I'll just have to check my settings. Apologies in advance for anyone in the Discord if I just put out this ping and then it pings you again if it finally decides to go through. But normally it's not like 15 minutes late. It's like three minutes late. 
Why are the robots sleeping on us? This is the problem when you rely on so many robots, you know? We have uh, chat bots, we have Discord bots, we have stream elements bots, and they just don't want to work together. I think that's what it is. They're not team players. I wasn't even talking about these bots. I was talking about the bots in Discord that ping people who have simply live notifications that I'm live. It, it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> that usually accounts for some of the, the numbers here is just waiting on the Discord notification because YouTube's bots don't always work for notifications. <laughs> okay, apologies, I missed a couple things. Thank you, Carrie. You do have to rewind a few times, but anything you hear again, you can always skip to the next option. Okay, yes, yes, I will do that. Hello, Simply. So happy to be catching you live. Thanks to Australian public holiday. Awesome. On a Wednesday? Nice. I mean, I don't know what the holiday is, but... Played Chicken Police or Little Nightmares. Chicken Police? That sounds... <laughs> like, what? <laughs> okay. Uh, Little Nightmares is too hard for me. I've seen other people play it. It looks too hard and scary. Mostly hard. A little harder than scary, but I appreciate it. I'm walking home from work in Ottawa and it's freezing snowstorm. I had to take shelter and grab a tea for the rest. Oh no, cat's eye. I mean, I, I know because my PC is saying it's snowing right now in Ottawa and there's like a winter storm warning. So be careful out there, but glad you got your tea. YouTube won't notify me for lives, but will for shorts. I know they have to fix their shit. Susan, the number. The number of things on my list for YouTube to fix is, you know, it's longer than your your Santa's wish list when you were seven. Yeah, stay warm, everybody. It's National Dingo Dango Dango Day. No, it's not. <laughs> like, I don't believe you. <laughs> ben! <laughs> oh my God. What the fuck, Ben? Okay, I'm gonna open up the game. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> Did Discord people get a notif? Are you here? Hello? Is there anyone there? Wait, before before I go on. Did you guys see that AI software that will work with the streamer's eyeballs and it'll track their eyeballs and keep the eyeballs making it look like it's on camera even though they're like reading chat? but you would see the eyeballs just looking at you. Did anyone see that? Ben, can you send me a link? I wonder if I can just like share it. It's not copyright, right? If I just turn off the music. <laughs> I wanna show them. Who knows what I'm talking about? Uh, Nvidia, I think it was, who did it? Eyes, right? Does anyone see it? Yeah, yeah, some of you see it. Hold on, I'll find it. I just gotta find like a video of it. Okay, I found it. Hey guys, I'm Gerardo from NVIDIA, which is super cool because it will morph your eyes. So for example, here I can be reading at the script and it makes it seem as if I'm looking at the camera. We also have improved quality for a virtual background. Do that again. And the new vignette effect, which no, can no, be combined no, just with this background part. blur. For example, here I can be reading at the script and it makes it seem as if I'm looking at the camera. We also no, stop, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Wait, there's a better video though. There's a better video that's like even more ridiculous. <laughs> I'm gonna find it. It's crazier. No, they keep showing that same video. Oh, there it is. 
Check this out. At no point in this video am I actually looking at the camera. This is a brand new bit of technology called eye contact that's been developed by NVIDIA. It's currently in beta and it uses machine learning Twitter fuck. technology uh, to make it look as if I'm looking straight down the lens and I'm not. And this feels like magic. So it means that you can sit on a work Zoom meeting and you no. look really engaged I and hate you look it. as if you're listening to whoever's speaking. Burn it. But in actuality, Kill it. Uh, you can just I be sitting it. on your phone. Not you know, this lovely man. Watching me live at but the technology. forward slash 1030. Stop it. Look. Look. <laughs> Do you understand what's happening? Okay, well now he's actually looking at the camera. But he's looking away. But it, the, the filter is showing that his eyes are still looking at you. The chat. It's like constant perma staring at chat. Chat, it's like, look into my eyes. I'm I'm reading chat, but how do you know? I'm just always staring at you. It's, I hate it. I hate it. No. Oh, my God. You know, I thought it was the end for me when um, we played with the chat bot. And uh, it, it's basically going to replace me. It's coming up with amazing nail polish collection ideas. I think now there's just going to be a filter for that, too. It's just going to download my face. It's going to recreate me in pixels, and I won't need to sit here anymore. <laughs> you can just have simply the AI streamer play Life is Strange for you in perpetuity. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Why would any streamer like stare the entire time like if i just did this the entire time without blinking and my eyes were just doing this and i was playing a game like this and i was randomly turning on music and i was painting my nails and just staring at you you would think something's wrong <laughs> like that's not how streaming works you don't stare right at someone it's too fucking weird do you do this in real life you stare constantly without looking away at anything. Yeah, if you do that, you're you're crazy. Stop it. Stop staring at me. I think your message was missed. I'm sorry, I was distracted. Like, come on, man. Ay, yeah, yeah. Who who likes this? I don't know. I mean, it's fascinating technology, I suppose. For Zoom calls, if you want to pretend that you're paying attention to your boss. Okay, I, I could see that as an argument. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like what if you have to talk and you're not actually there oh no that was a different software i saw that software earlier in the pandemic you just now got the discord notification fuck <laughs> sorry if it went out twice or no that was just me right anyways it was extremely unnerving to see that and I'm curious if any streamers are actually going to use this, in case you're joining it. It's just like a software that tracks your eyes and makes it look like you're constantly staring. Uh, I can't see anyone actually using this unless they're using it as a goof to kind of just show their, their chat and they're like, look at this. <laughs> like, maybe that's the only reason I would use it. But other than that, I don't, I do not want, I want to burn it. <laughs> I don't want to stare into your eyes. You don't want me to stare into your eyes for 24-7. Yeah, Detroit become machine, okay? This is a s simply become machine. If I actually do it, then you'll know. <laughs> what did I just miss? Well, good thing you can uh, rewind on YouTube. <laughs> All right, okay, we're going to play Life is Strange. <laughs> I, sw I swear we're going to play Life is Strange. <laughs> All right, let me open it up. Well, you guys have that wonderful thought in your head of me just staring at you. So discomforting so unnerving simply nerve-wracking hello chat no oh, there you go All right, we are Life is Stranging. Again, a warning, Life is Strange is rated M for Mature, but viewer discretion is advised. You can use Google to look up things that are in this game. I don't know what's going to be in this episode. I've never played it before, so viewer discretion is advised. And uh, no spoilers in the chat, please. But you're welcome to 
you know, be vocal and have fun in the chat, talk to other chatters, but just try not to spoil it for me or other chatters. Hold on, I need to blow my nose. volume good or is it a little loud where's the weird lady it's the weird lady how is the music I'm gonna stare at you how is the music <laughs> it's fine okay I might have to turn it down we'll see Okay, I'm gonna need to remind myself what the fuck happened. I think it's gonna give me somewhat of a, of a reminder. Let's see. If you need a reminder, you could just go to the last short I posted. I think it was yesterday's short. It was uh, simply the weird lady. That's all you need to know. <laughs> In the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Perfect. Oh. called film, Little Pieces of Time. Because Max wants everybody to see I'm how so sick is. of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. Thank you, kitties. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, oh yeah, I remember Stelman this. Stelma Louise, you're my business so now. Dude, that's and Rachel's I... bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! <laughs> Nobody cares about me. Nobody. <laughs> But we saved Kate. What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Coffee, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Okay, so that was a somewhat good recap, but it just reminded me of the silly things that happened, like the number of times that Chloe got run over by the train while we were trying to figure that out, and I was trying to break the game. I was like, wait, is it possible to just let her get run over, or do we have to rewind it? And um, it turns out you have to rewind it. There's no way to not save her from the train. I tried. <laughs> I was just curious, obviously. I mean, of course, you know? And then it ended with that strange interrogation that would never take place in that manner in real life, or should never take place. Simply tell you to do your homework. Do your homework! Right now, Eileen R. Or I'll take away your Menchie Gang membership. <laughs> I'm the weird lady. It's the fireflies. It's the last of us. Life is Strange, Episode 3, Chaos Theory. Mm, I love chaos. And I love theory. Oh, rabbit! Oh my god, I love him. <laughs> Buddy. Kate! I have something to show you, maybe in front of the campus, from Chloe. I knew Chloe would be all over this. At 11 so I p.m. I, I better listen to her, why? What about our rabbit? He's so cute. Ugh. Hold on, my 
controller's not speaking. Speak to me. Hello? There we go. <gasps> My rabbit! Hey, Bunny. <laughs> Kate will be back soon, and until then, I'll be catering to your every Oh, way. we're in Kate's room? Are you hungry, Bunny? Here, nosh on this. Oh my god, I had a rabbit when I was a teenager. It just looked like looked like him too. First I saved Chloe, then Kate, and now you, Lisa. <laughs> Not a bad record for a week. Yeah, maybe we should stop having such ridiculous responsibilities. How about that? Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Now she has another video of herself all over the web. And even I'm in this one. Wait, there's a second oh, at video? At least the news didn't mention my name. A student Yet. at the prestigious Blackwell Academy almost jumped- Oh, this video. Authorities confirmed that the student, Kate Marsh, 18, had been troubled, but information is- Authorities confirm a student had been troubled. <laughs> what does that mean? Like, no one says that. Okay, but information is scarce at this time. Dozens of cell phones recorded the event, which ended with an- I d unidentified student talking March down to safety. That was us. Hmm. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia <gasps> Bay. All the missing people, Rachel, we know. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. Elton, an old white man has been missing? Interesting. Since 2001, that's way longer ago than 2013. Melissa Grace in 1997, Winston Smith... This profile, there I don't see, you know, a, a traditional victim profile here. They're kind of all over, all I over sure the place. I sure hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school. If she does. Get well soon, thinking of you. Jesus stuff. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Delete your account. <laughs> Everybody will be talking about Kate now. How did Sherlock Holmes deduce anything without the internet? He had a hard time. It took him a long time. <laughs> it's amazing how happy Kate looks here compared to today. She looks she was happy. Basically pushed up to that roof, and I will use my power to find out why. No one this in this picture end. looks happy. You know you're hurting when you don't give a shit about music. Jeebus, I am so freaking tired. <sighs> Kate's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. Look at the timetable. Pretty hard to focus on my class schedule this week. Do we drop English? I wonder why. We dropped English. Who cares? We already know how to speak English, you know? Like, we don't need English class. It's fine. <laughs> Turn the light on. Okay, we'll leave the light on for Kate. There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. <sighs> all this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. And all roads are leading to my tornado vision. Okay, I don't think there's anything else to do in the room. No, drawer. Drawer. It's amazing how oh. happy Kate looks here compared okay, I to today. Saw that picture. She that's was basically that's pushed up to that roof, and I will use my power to find out why. This has to end. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be light. That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. Wherever you go, there I am. So much hypocrite. The resolution is so bad. Why is that so bad? Oh yeah, this game's almost 10 years old. Okay, missing person poster. Why are all the lights out? Because it's a storm? <gasps> person. Ah! Trust no one. Don't trust her. I hope Victoria feels particularly shitty about posting that link. It's Taylor Swift. Let's ask her about her tickets. Taylor? Did you hey, hear? Max. <laughs> I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. 
Who's Taylor again? I can't. I think she's part of the Victoria, was it the Victoria crew? Who's like, who's a bitch. But I can't remember. Did she say something somewhat redeeming or not? I actually don't recall. Wait, what if I just choose one of them, see what she says, and then I can rewind? Let's blame her and see what happens. You should believe it. She almost jumped because you and everybody here bullied her. What? You're like blaming me? As a matter of fact, yes. Then just get out of here. Like, stop fucking with me. I've got my own family shit to deal with. I'm done for the day. Just had to see what's happening. <laughs> How about let's just not talk to her? Fuck her. Um, although you might want to say that to her, I don't think. Oh, let's let's shower with our clothes on. Great. I would not uh, actually confront Kate and Max like want that. to shower, but no time. Must meet Chloe. No, I'm not allowed to shower. I can't pee. I can't shower. <laughs> yeah, I'll just tell Taylor to shake it off. Shake it off. Da -na 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 -na. Da -na 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 -na. We're gonna go to the Vortex Club hey, and shake Max? it off. Come here. No, I'm busy. Juliet, waiting for you, Kate. Okay, now I'm coming. Where'd she come from? Where did her voice come from? What the fuck? Oh, here. Waiting for you, Kate. Dana's really hurting over this. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Oh, I was gonna say, there's a fucking spider. How is that cute? I mean, it's a Halloween party. This is both sad and pathetic. Dana, I suck at writing, but I thought I should write this so you might not hate my dumb ass forever. I know I act like a tough jock around everybody, but I never had to act around you. I'm not the kind of man you deserve. You saw how it puts out. If you ever need any money, let me know, Logan. Okay, Logan Paul. Heard enough out of you. <laughs> yes, the Vortex Club does indeed suck. Aw, Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Dana. Okay, so Dana to Trevor. Thank you so much for thinking of me. I keep seeing Kate on that roof and I feel like I should have done more to help her. Max did more than anyone to save Kate and I don't even think they're BFF. So happy you're thinking about me. I can't wait to see you tomorrow and you're just as good, as good for me as, I, as you think I am for you. Dreaming of you tonight. Trevor. Hey, Dan, I've been thinking about you all day and know how hard it was for you to see Kate almost jump from the roof today. Glad that Max swooped in like a superhero. I don't have anything deep or smart to say. I just want you to know that you're a good friend to Kate and I wish you had more friends like you. You have been so good for me when everything else is so fucked up. I'm here for you. Always miss you, Trev. If Dana talks to Juliet about this, she's going to wish she didn't. Hi, Juliet. I know you didn't. I know you want to find out more about Kate, but I'm so little shaken up after today. I don't think you'll get too many answers so soon after what happened today and maybe it's better to keep a low profile for the moment kate deserves privacy for a change love dana dana i hope you're doing okay after today i don't want to bother you but i'm writing an article about kate for the paper no <laughs> and i wanted to know if you could answer just a few short questions it seemed like there are too few answers let's talk when it's convenient for you Kay. hope you're well ew no. Juliet. Okay, so this is Dana. Dana looks guilty and relieved about Kate. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. Oh, was I reading it backwards? Because normally when you get an email, what's underneath and indented was what came first. So I just naturally read it that way. It's as if like you forwarded an email, you know, or you're reading like what you got first, but maybe the game just like tried to put it intuitively and you were supposed to read first then second, but I, I read it the other way because that's how fucking Gmail works. <laughs> Anyways, whatever. Okay. 
I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. Must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. Why would Dana... Okay, I guess the game is telling me that Dana might have some information about why she was on the roof. So why do you think she was on the roof in the first place? Since we're solving crimes Maybe here, apparently. Maybe Kate was so ashamed she got wasted on that video. I don't blame her, but it was pretty gross. Come on, you really believe that Kate Marsh wanted to get drunk at a Vortex Club party? So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell. And I'm, and gonna I'm going to it. find out why. I'm, I'm getting the police scared now. now. Mm. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like who? Tell me, I'm writing Victoria it down. Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. We're lying to her. I'll see you later. We're on the case. We're lying to her. Oh, there's more speaking. I am wiped out, Max. We'll talk later. Dana looks guilty and relieved about- I am wiped out, Max. We'll talk later. Wait a second. Hold on, hold on. Wait a second. Wait a second. It takes so long to rewind. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt let's suicide. Let's ask her more questions. Mm, let's blame Victoria, see what she says. Come on, don't blame yourself. There are other people involved, like Victoria Chase. She definitely deserves a face punch for pimping that video. I didn't do enough to step up. Now it's time for serious payback. In other words, revenge. So what exactly are you saying, Max? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> you think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? Let's see the other thing. It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Look at her nails. Not me. <laughs> I need a break from today. We're lying. Get some sleep too, Dana. Okay. Back I'll to the same later. script. Same script. Lay low. Okay, so, um, uh, <laughs> I guess we just found out that Victoria was more involved. And, uh, we want revenge! And we're gonna take it into our own hands. Aww. Anything new? Trevor is asleep. If Dana talks to Juliet about this, no. she's gonna wish she didn't. A sticker? No. Okay. I think I already snooped her room, but you never know if there's anything new in here. Hi, bye. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. I don't remember where she lives. Kate, okay, just want you to know your inner thoughts. I'm impressed I can read that terrible resolution. Okay. Uh, what's her face? Victoria, let's find her room. Victoria! No balls allowed. Victoria's room. We're breaking in. Breaking and entering. It's not a crime. We're the police. It's fine. <laughs> we're, we're literally the legal authority of this entire school. Since we've crossed school. the line from Snoop to Detective. I might as well search for clues about what really happened to yeah. Kate at the Vortex Club party. Absolutely, let's just snoop. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the Chase space. Color me impressed. Victoria is about as straight as me. But she really appreciates style. Look at all those cameras. What do you think's on the memory card? Let's do a little download download. A unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Essay. Noir and day. <laughs> Get it? It's like night and day. Expressionist photography by Victoria Chase. Excellent, well-researched essay with a unique point of view. A. Eh? 
Are those pictures of herself? Interesting. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. Well, well. Victoria and Taylor okay, actually Okay, how do I read this email? Is it, is it top then bottom or is it bottom then top? In chronological order, I would expect the one at the bottom came first and then the one above was the follow-up, right? I don't know. This game is so old though that it probably like thinks we had a different way of reading email from top to bottom. <laughs> you guys can't agree. <laughs> okay, from Victoria to Taylor. Hey, sweet Taylor Swift. What's up? I'm just avoiding some lame ass science homework. <laughs> How can anybody do fucking homework after somebody almost jumps off a roof? Am I right? I can't believe we all saw it live on stream. Like what the Okay, it was like watching a reality show. Yeah, just like that. And I've never seen the campus so quiet. Like everybody's hiding or afraid. Yes, I feel like total shit for everything I said about Kate and that stupid video. Let's get some peeps to meet up later. This girl needs a serious curfew cocktail. We'll drink to Kate V. <clears throat> From Taylor to Victoria. What a sweet trip that was today. Seeing Max and Kate like that, I need a drink too. Let me know the time. This is like a thread for sociopaths. Max Crackfield? Lame. From Nathan on, to Victoria. So Nathan is the guy who was dealing drugs to Chloe in the very first episode. And then has subsequently been in other trouble. But he's kind of been mysterious since the first episode. Like, we definitely have grounds, you know, as the law enforcement in this county. But uh, we're also trying to figure out more of his family puzzle. From Nathan, that Tweemo bitch Max Cockfield got me fucking suspended. Can you believe it? My dad owns the fucking dorm where she plays with her selfies. My parents have lost their shit and are threatening me with the fucking job. <laughs> My parents are making me get a job. Can you believe that shit? In my daddy's office. Uh, I wouldn't even have to do any work. And he would still pay me so much. It's terrible. How dumb is he to have me repping him? Ew. Max Crackfield and Blackwell need to go fucking down. And the end of the world party is fucking on. You in? Cheers, Prescott. Wow. Can you believe that? Holy shit. Okay, <clears throat> from Victoria to Nathan. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Of course I don't sleep with a stuffed animal. That is bullshit. No way Blackwell can suspend you. I knew that Max was in trouble, the f or I knew that Max was trouble the first time I saw her ass kissing Mr. Jefferson with that retro camera. I'm pretty sure that was you. Notice that everybody she hangs out with gets in trouble, and yes, the Vortex Club will be bringing the end of the world to Blackwell no matter what. I'll SMS you later. Ew, who says that? Who says that? I'll SMS you later. I'll MMS you later. I'll MSN messenger you later. I'll ICQ you later. Uh-oh! So we can plot in person. Hang in there. Okay, that was fun. There has to be some dirt in here on Victoria. We got it. Uh oh. Did you hear? Uh oh. Thanks, Ben. What did I hear? That our, our parents are gonna make us get a job as punishment. It's not very nice. I know, it's terrible. Mis mistreatment, child abuse, definitely. <laughs> How are you doing? Where'd you go? Okay. He left the house. Do you know, it's, it's fucking snowing outside. Why didn't, like, a computer tell me it, it was snowing or something? It did something? tell me, man. I was just gonna say it. <laughs> Your computer it told me it was snowing? Why didn't you listen? I was telling you oh. in stream earlier. Well, I looked out the window, and I'm like, I wish a computer would have told me about this. Then I wouldn't have gone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I lost one of my AirPods. You did? Yeah. No, you didn't. I, I swear to God. <laughs> no, I better go meet up with Chloe. <laughs> no, you didn't. I think it's in the car. Just use the tracker. It popped out of my ear. Yeah, that's Maybe what happens. Maybe like, there's like too much pressure in my head and it just sort of flew out. Your brain grew too much. Do you want to help me look in the car later? Why? Well, I couldn't find it. 
You think I'm it gonna fell, find it? It fell out of my head in the car, and I can't find it. Okay, I'm a, I am a detective, actually, in this game. We're law enforcement now, so maybe I could find and arrest the, the missing AirPod. Aren't you in high, high school? Yeah, but we're, uh, we're basically law enforcement. You're like the kid detective, Adam Brody. Yeah, we're also the enforcer. Adrian Brody? Who, no, play, who played Brody. Seth in the OC? Adam Brody. Adam Brody? Yes, Adrian Brody is someone totally different. That's a good movie. Okay. You just use your app. Does the case? I thought you can only use the app to I have to be case. extra crispy careful uh -oh. so I don't I can get make caught it. outside the I'm dorm this caught. late. The game just told me I'm going to, I'm slow. Hey, I'm feeling a little extra crispy if you know what I mean. No. <laughs> <laughs> Find your AirPods, Ben. Good luck. Thank you for, thanks for the tea. Ooh, it's hot. Am I like, <laughs> what's the game doing? <clears throat> That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Interesting. Cashmere sweater from Arcadia Bay Cleaners. $30. Victoria's Secret. She's a geek. Is that a reference to the lingerie company? Victoria's Secret? <laughs> she likes anime. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. <laughs> okay. That's what I th totally thought too when I saw that picture. I was like, it's definitely Satan. I already did this. That's a lot of Victoria's Secret. She's a geek. I'll title this one, Portrait de la Assholes. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Can we take a picture of this evidence? Why aren't we like using our camera to like take pictures of evidence? These socks cost more than my wardrobe. Can we, we can't take pictures, can we? Oh, I have messages. Oops. Chloe, I have something to show you. Me oh yeah, we didn't want to meet her. <laughs> We're still snooping around. Our oh mother. Thanks for letting me gush over our Blackwell hero. I miss your voice. We're very proud. So milk this moment. Oat milk this moment. Let us know if you want us to come up for a quick getaway, okay? We love you, Maxine. What? Are they referring to the uh, another student's attempted suicide? <laughs> um, I hope I'm misunderstanding this message. Unfortunately, I don't think I am. Warren. Thanks, Warren. I need to rest my cape tonight. Nathan got suspended too, so it was a good day. Uh, sorry, I read that backwards. Yo, yo, Max. Just had to remind you again how fucking awesome you were today with Kate. What is wrong with people? Oh my god. Everyone is cracked. Okay, cool. Got it. I'll make you a superhero suit on the lab's 3D printer. They had 3D printers in 2013. Interesting. Cool. And you totally earned dinner on me. Along with our escape to Planet O Apes. Call me. I hate everyone. <sighs> Nothing to see here. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. We love socks. Nothing wrong with a fancy sock. Those boots are made for walking runways. Those boots are made for walking. And that's just what they do. Some of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you. Do, 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 do. Victoria <laughs> is about as straight as me. Okay, I already know this. But I she really appreciates style. I wish the cameras would show me something. $30 is a lot for socks. I feel like I would buy socks for $30. I value socks. I could do it. Why doesn't enter, enter my room? Wait, why am I home again? <laughs> Wait, why did I come here? I am so freaking tired. Okay, I sound like just kidding, moron. I'm leaving. But crime does not delay. 
I need to stay on top of this investigation. No, wait, 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 <laughs> wait. Someone said something. I want to check it out now. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Hold on. There are things I'm supposed to be doing in my room, but I never do them. Like water the plant. Oh, you can't water the plant. There's no water to hit water. There's only look. I don't care about looking. Floor lamp, I already turned it on. Is there anything in my closet that I'm supposed to use? Mm. There's nothing to do, there's no plants to water. Okay, I'm leaving. Yeah, if people have second fridge money, I have $30 sock money. I would not hesitate to buy $30 socks if they are um, really cozy, they keep my feet warm, my feet are notoriously cold all the time. It sucks, you know. Uh, I would, I'd pay $30 to make that stop. Okay, we, we gotta leave, right? Let's go find Chloe. Is that what I need? Thermal socks? I need socks that keep the heat. What should I get? Leave an Amazon link in, um... So Chloe is waiting Discord. for me in front of the main hall. Bench. Bench on a bench. <laughs> Why am I sitting? I feel so giddy, even after Kate almost jumped. Did we drink too much coffee? What's wrong with us? Maybe it's the leftover adrenaline. But I feel kind of invincible now. Okay, let's let's not do anything drastic now. Chill. Broken lamp. What does that mean? Maybe Samuel should fix that lamp. Should we be sussy of Samuel? The Tabanga does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. It's gonna destroy us. That's foreshadowing. <gasps> squirrel! How do I talk to the squirrel? Oh, I can't talk to him. Okay, I got a message. Max? <laughs> oh yeah, the private number! Keep your smart mouth- your- bleh, hold on. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Hey whore, feminazis will be exterminated. Watch out. This is why block number technology exists. Um, doesn't it still work with a private number? Or there's at least a function where you can like decline all incoming messages from private or unknown callers. So like that's, that's what we would do. Be like, have fun talking to nobody. Oh, this is so suspicious. Let's go in. Oh, it's unlocked. I hope Samuel isn't around. Hmm, do we think it's Nathan as a private number? Probably. Nothing here. Or his dad. <gasps> what if it, okay, no spoilers, but I could imagine like Nathan's just doing modeling behavior off of his parents' influence. So maybe his dad's like literally that person. His dad is that guy and his dad is writing those texts. Nothing messages. but tools. <laughs> okay, don't tell me if I'm right or wrong, but. Nuts and bolts. <laughs> like my can grandpa's I pick, garage. Can I pick them up? Who knew Samuel was so into runway fashion? Okay. Girl stuff? I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves. That looks so like Victoria's. Like she had a uh, fancy stuff on the other day. Can I go out this door? Nothing here. Hmm. 
Hmm, no scissors. Oh, the most magical insects. Burn bright. Principal ah. Wells. Oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. How do you crouch? There's no crouch. Keep talking, sir. Nobody can expel okay. me? Blackwell almost lost another student. Wish Kate Marsh would just skip town. Now I have to deal with more pissed off entitled parents who want to blame me for their mistakes. Cheers. So that's someone on like the school board or whatever. He's like, it's corporate. Got to deal with them. What do we do? Like, how do I get by him? Oh, walk past then rewind. Oh, smarty pants. Oh yeah, I forgot you can basically cheat. Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. Uh, I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'm still tense after I thought Kate was going to jump today. Stop I saying this. I just some air and space to walk. No, no explanations. Seeing Kate come up on that roof, then seeing her come down with you. You saved her ass. Maybe save Blackwell. Now don't get cocky. Go on back inside. You earned good dreams. Sir. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? Just run past him. Max, stop wandering outside and get back to your dorm. He's gonna fall asleep. Great. Just He run. saw me. Maybe Max, I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. Room. Now he's got me totally trapped. No, he doesn't. Max, stop wandering outside and get back to your dorm. He doesn't look like he can stop us. <laughs> Yo, how do I just fucking... <laughs> do I have to go, like, away up here and then walk? He doesn't look like he's paying much attention, if you know what I mean. Max, I told you to get back to your room. Rewind to before he started talking. There's so much rewinding. It's rewind time. Fuck. Chloe's messaging me. Chloe, I'm trying to sneaky sneak. Miss Caulfield, you have to be <laughs> stealthier than that. You're Help me, not what do supposed I do? to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You. Oh, great. He saw me. Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. So I have to keep going more. You have to rewind time. Triple rewind time. Keep going, keep going, sir. Sir, get back in the building. Great. He saw me. Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. It has to go to the dot. It has to go to the dot. There we go. Go, go, go. I know I have a set of keys go, go, on go, me. Go, go, go. Go faster. Ah, ah, gotcha. Max the ninja strikes oh, again. We did it. We did it. These keys are all... Woo! I think we could have gotten past him. He didn't seem very motivated to stop us earlier. This is a strange power indeed, yes. Mmm, this tea is so tasty. You ever had like such a really tasty fucking tea? And you're just like, mmm. Yeah. It's, that's nice. It's very nice. Nom, nom, nom. Nom, noms. Okay, Chloe, what do you want? Hello? 
Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Ah, no. Booyah! Ah! <laughs> Get it? Booyah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a Fucking scary punk asshole. Fuck, Chloe. Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing. And your badass power is going to save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Why don't we just all give ourselves medals and trophies and call it a day? Because since we're all just such heroes in this town... What's chaos theory? Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. Except for your ability to... Oh, yeah. Manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? There's nothing wrong with a little introspection. We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody, even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares That's me to think where she could for. be. <laughs> Do you think she's... Do we think Rachel's alive, kicking it, or dead? Alive? I have to think that, Chloe. Her spirit is so powerful here. Maybe too much power. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. She stole Thank it from you, her stepdaddy. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just... Don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. We're just taking the law Thank into our own so hands. Thanks for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? Katie? I had no idea you two were They're that close. They're sisters. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That would suck. That could be fun, don't Rather you think? die. I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. Oh as my a favor God, to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... I was... I was just trying to blackmail you. It's fine. Are you fucking kidding me? It's failed. Are there security cameras that recorded that conversation? 
Okay, he was not a creep in that instance. He still gives me creepy vibes, so though, stupid. generally speaking. But we could just be, it could be wrong, you know, just never know. I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. I mean, the teacher is not as creepy as we thought in that interaction. Doesn't mean that maybe he would do what you were going to expect in that creep situation with other students. We don't know that. Maybe this is just trying to derail Pretty us and make him think he's a great guy. You know maybe what? he's not. We don't know. We have no evidence yet. Remember? Dude, I don't know police, we got to collect. Exhibit A, we're B, C, D. We're in so much trouble. You can always let me get busted like you did with the weed. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. <laughs> we could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. Maybe but my she powers didn't save Kate. Wants her stepdad Maybe to Maybe I get did on my own. This. So he goes. Come on. He One gets more door and our work here is done. Okay. I guess we're going in. <gasps> coffee, tea, coffee, tea. Mm, bathrooms. Can I pee? There's nothing to click. Her kit. <gasps> File folders. They're not red. I still haven't forgotten about all the red binders of the ladies' names. Hunting hat. Whose is that? Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. <laughs> He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Oh, now let's break Believe and it or enter. not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. We're already committing well, you crimes. Could look for the key. Let's just add them up, just in case. We're just Why gonna stack a few charges. It's fine. Lost and found. Nothing to click. Key rack. Anything here? Are the here? keys? None for the principal's office. It's hard to hear me when I'm talking. Oh. Mm, is it my voice? I can turn Desolation. me up a little bit. I turn my voice up a little bit. Nothing to see here. Then why would you put it in front of me? Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. What? A wolf? No keys here. Crap. Boring. I love no paperwork. Key for me. We have to find another way in. I didn't spend enough time with Frank, but I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. What is it? Hey, Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. How do I break? Without naming names, if How do I somebody teleport had through access a door? to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would say open a locked door would you maybe kind of know how huh no i'm just asking for fun thanks science guy uh, no 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 stay we need you as backup just send the text instructions now yes i'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in thanks for the hope Damn door. Chloe's mad. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? 
No, pay- I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. What do my text messages say? Now pay attention, 007. You have to find four objects. Sugar, a soda can, duct tape, sodium chlorate. Here's how you'll do it. What the fuck? Lighter sugar, sodium chlorate, coil thingy with duct tape. Wrap it, explode! Which is a powder. Keyword is try. Okay, what? Okay, so I have to find these things. Um, thank you, Beauty Envy. What tea am I drinking? Uh, I'm drinking this this one from Ottawa, <laughs> from a local coffee shop. It is a peppermint oat milk tea latte. Ah, it's delicious. Okay, sugar, soda, duct tape, and sodium chlorate. What the fuck is sodium chlorate? I do, I do not recall. My dad says, check your account. Oh yeah, that's old. Okay, he sent us money. Uh, duct tape, duct tape, duct tape gray. Duck nails, woo! -hoo. And sugar, is there sugar here? Yeah, yeah, from the coffee. Ooh, sugar. Sodium chlor, no, that's sodium chloride, three right? Three more items to go. I don't fucking know. NAC NACL? That's sodium chloride. But chlorate, I don't know. There's a chemist in the chat, I'm sure. There always is. Okay, we need duct tape. This Here are the keys. No. <sighs> None for the principal's office. Yes, sodium chloride is salt, but what's sodium chlorate? I don't remember. There's no way David would get in Mrs. Grant's face. She'd shut his ass down fast. Dear Miss Michelle Grant, as head of security at Blackwell Academy, it's my job and duty to make sure all the bases have been covered when it comes to protecting the student body. I know I'm nobody's favorite among the faculty and students, but I know I'm making sure their safety is my prime directive. Since taking over as head of security, my statistics speak for themselves, as does the 15.4% drop in campus crime. What type of crime? You're gonna need to be a little bit more specific than that. Did you change your categories? Are they the same over time? I don't know. <laughs> I respect your position as a science teacher, but you have unfairly demonized my plans for a surveillance system with a cowardly petition. I hope that you will redact this petition and reconsider the human cost of not retrofitting Blackwell Academy with the latest in safe, safe and private security. Typo, typo, typo. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, we gotta get other shit. Let's go. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. Hmm. 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 Where's the science lab? Nope, that's where I came from. What's in the trash can? Gross. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> There's the science Gross. lab. I hate that formalin smell. Mmm, chemicals. Mmm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, so this probably has sodium chlorate. How come I can't go up there? What the fuck? Exam file. Uh oh, we're cheating now. Only a B minus? Warren has shattered my faith. Of course, I'm barely passing science. Change grade? You deserve way more than this for taking <laughs> on Nathan, but every little grade counts. Oh my god. Yes, I like this plus better than that minus. Max. Thanks for being there for me, Warren. Yo, that's hilarious. Ass biology. Ugh, gross. Ugh. 
A periodic table. <sighs> Wish I knew what periodic means. Halib Kanafna Nam Galsips Clarka. That's the acronyms for the first 20 elements. You're welcome. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Good evening, fish fish. Are we taking a picture? Fish fish. Hello, fish fish. Thanks, fish. Nice work. Okay, turn it off, turn it off. Don't leave evidence. Please resume your slumber. Go back to bed, little fishies. Paper towel. Is that duct tape in the sink? No. I missed something here. Graffiti. I never said they were great, troll. Max takes shitty selfies. Wow, good one. Keep that up. Great insult. I'm so hurt. <laughs> okay, give me the sodium chloride or whatever. Oh, oh. You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. I don't fucking know. Weed killer. Ooh. Sounds Here's fun. Here's the sodium chlorate box. Max, if you can't find sodium you know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste uh -oh. your rewind power. Use the damn chair. Thank you, video game. Thank you, video game, for giving me a hint. <laughs> okay. You're halfway home, Max. I got it. Now I need I need duct tape. Hold on. What do you want, Warren? You still there? Did you blow up? Not yet. Working on it. Need to concentrate. Bye. Where is duct tape? Duct tape. Duct tape. How do they not have duct tape in the lab? Is it not in here? It just says graffiti there. There's nothing else. What would you use duct tape for? Um, I don't know. Just like to tape like tubes and shit. <laughs> Like, you know, there's like a leak or whatever. Okay, we already looked in that trash can. I feel like you can use duct tape everywhere. Like, where can't you use duct tape? Release the crack can. So, the can. It's online anyway. Do we use that for explosion? The container. Only one more ingredient left. Duct tape, duct tape. Is there tape to put posters up or some shit? First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. In the men's washroom? Halloween decorations. It's in the bathroom. I'll Duct tape in the bathroom. probably should find those items now. Oh. It's not in the bathroom. Trophies? No trophy will help Blackwell's reputation now. Where art thou duct tape? Where's duct tape on this map? <laughs> art class? Maybe we gotta go to art class. Nope, that was the lab. I thought we used some tape in Jefferson's class last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's our art class? Over here? Yeah, here it is. This is like a scene in a horror film. And we're about to die. <laughs> You can never escape the lighthouse here. That's very deep, Max. 
Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to- Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer. Victoria, that is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work. But he does have some style. That's a weird thing to say. How can I hate someone who takes such great photography pictures? Like, it's pretty easy, you know? They do bad things. <laughs> like Victoria's what? cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. Okay, duct tape, duct tape. That's what we're looking for. No more distractions. Stop distracting. Duct tape! <laughs> the tape is mine. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Why do we want to do that is still my question. Literally what we just said there is that our motivation was to show Chloe how cool we are. When there's supposed to be another motive here, which is like, you know, being law enforcement apparently. Wait, should I go to the bathroom? A long time ago, oh. <laughs> Nathan got smacked down. Uh, fuck, I have terrible directions. This way, there we go. Take Pipe it easy bomb. on the door, Chloe. <laughs> Let's try this instead. Boom, literally. Yes, time to blow shit up. If you'll light the candle. This is so cool. Get ready to haul ass. No. That was so fucking cool. Oh, we are toast. Uh, Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, it's okay, so we're we the do? police. So it's fine, we'll just explain to them. We're solving crimes. Oh shit, I'm supposed to run? Uh, fuck. Shit, shit! Do something, Max! That's what I was trying to do, I'm running! What? It doesn't want me to run? <laughs> Just rewind? That's too so easy! <laughs> Fine, I'll rewind. It's rewind time. We're solving crime. So wait, did we explode it or not? Are we not pipe bombing it? What? Go in the office first. Before or after the pipe bomb? Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow <laughs> shit up. in the fridge. <laughs> if you yeah. light the candle. Where's the fridge? This is so cool. The key is to hide in the fridge, right? Get ready to haul ass. Okay, let's have it explode again. <laughs> that was so fucking cool. Oh, we are toast. Okay, now I go inside. And we leave Chloe out. And then we rewind. And she's gonna get caught, but we'll be fine. Is that the idea? Well, she won't get caught, because the alarm was never off. As long as she doesn't have the explosives. We have the explosives. So I think we'll be fine. There's nothing to actually action around here, though. Let me read it. Is that Kate? Oh, I'm supposed to let her in? Do I have to? This ancient door is no match for Max the Magician. Open, she can't cheat with her rewind. Oh, this is bullshit. Fuck you, door. She's gonna like break it anyways. Welcome to my domain. 
You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Okay, let me yeah, explore. I can see why the principal <laughs> locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody Shh. to know he has money, but no taste. Let me explore, let me explore. Stop. No more cutscenes. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be a black. What the fuck is a sister? Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the Jack papers on that? this ugly ass desk. Did Chloe just say that? I just had like a stroke and didn't hear it. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, <laughs> is it a cozy chair? Get out of his chair! We can't leave evidence! We shouldn't have let this her in! This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. Oh my god, she's such an irresponsible assistant. Do not turn it on. Unless I can read this, and then I'll turn it off. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. Okay, Kate. And in the wrong Holy place. shit. Student information sheet. Kate Beverly Marsh. Hold on. <clears throat> GPA, 3.9. Kate Marsh represents the very best of the students at Blackwell Academy. Her GPA is consistently outstanding, along with her optimistic attitude and quiet work ethic. Her extracurricular activities with the Meals on Wheels program has been acknowledged with Key Bay 7 News, and her diverse religious studies group has been a welcome addition to the wide range of student-led spiritual programs at Blackwell. She also has one of the best attendance records in the school's history. She comes to class. Principal Wells, as a school nurse, I should inform you that Kate Marsh appears to have experienced some recent emotional or physical trauma. I spoke to her briefly, and she was upset but beg and refused to talk further with me. I think it's important that we keep our eyes on her and make sure she's not under duress from other classmates as is my suspicion regards Anne-Marie Baranchi. Update, at present time, there is a security investigation into a controversial video featuring Kate Marsh at a Vortex Club that has been uploaded onto the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent, along with the, her claim of being taken to the hospital during the party. See attached for uh, complete details. Give me the attached. Only two more files to go. Wait a second, hold on. I'm gonna turn this off last. Books, search. I certainly can't use this. Why? Do what I want. I'm Max Looks Caulfield. Looks like an oil paintings bill. Awful. Look at this pile. Tumbleweeds. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Because <laughs> it was wiped. Nathan Joshua Prescott, GPA 3.7. Brief summary. Nathan Prescott continues his fam family's historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with a stellar academic record in a variety of extracurricular activities, including work with the Arcadia Bay Homeless Fund. Nathan is also popular with students and faculty. That's like a line that they read in your files? I do not believe it. Like I'm not going to read my own personal file. <gasps> Maxine Caulfield, GPA 2.8. Brief summary, Max, as she prefers to be called, is considered a quiet, attentive student with much potential for her photography. Her GPA fluctuates and she has acknowledged that she should be doing better. <laughs> Do better, they said. Her teachers back up her quiet intelligence, though some complaints find her too nervous and nosy. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? They were definitely not nosy. What? Uh, some faculty members would like Max to speak up in class and be more assertive. Others would like her to be less so. Some want me to start talking. Some want me to shut up. But this is a common student suggestion rather than a specific recommendation. Okay. Update. Despite some recent confrontations with Blackwell security, Max showed herself to represent the very blessed... Of very best of Blackwell Academy by stopping fellow student Kate Marsh. Why does that equate to we're the best of the school? At this time, there is an ongoing police faculty investigation, but Max's heroism is undisputed. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. 
Victoria Maribeth Chase, GPA 3.9. Victoria Chase is the gold standard for Blackwell Academy, a student with a consistently high GPA and extracurricular activities that reflect her career goals in photography. Victoria also receives high marks from faculty for her devotion to the Vortex Club, among other organizations devoted to Blackwell spirit and history. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Warren 4.0, Mr. Smarty Pants. Warren is considered an exemplary student and represents a long tradition of excellence in science at Blackwell. He has the gift of curse, of gab, depending on the faculty. The gift or curse. Okay, sorry. Some have accused him of playing science pr pranks, but this is not confirmed by his science teacher. <laughs> we hope Warren focuses his academic vision. Okay, that's it. Whew. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based <gasps> on all this. Rachel. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Rachel. Unfortunately, Rachel Amber has stopped attending class for the past month, and she's left no contact with students or faculty for the past month. Her parents are at the present unaware of her whereabouts, and Blackwell hopes for her quick return to continue her academic excellence. Brief summary, Rachel Amber is the quintessential student representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels in all of her studies. I wonder if the other people also excelled in all their studies and then they all went missing. Popular with students and faculty, she has the de facto qualities of scholarship and leadership that is a hallmark of Blackwell's legacy. Her diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion modeling. There's no doubt that Rachel will achieve her dreams. Principal Wells, this is Lieutenant Chris Rossi. Just wanted to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed. It's been closed. We found nothing. It's been closed. We always hope that uh, one does... What? That one magic clue. We always hope for that one magic clue. But once again, Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. We always keep our eyes and ears open. But we're not going to do our job. But we'll keep our eyes and ears open. Thanks for your help. Wow. Man. I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. <gasps> Chloe! Bad Chloe. This is the best part of the game. <laughs> I'm reading everyone's files. <laughs> uh, I think the max GPA is a four. Yeah, it's an American system, right? Right? 4.0 GPA is like the best or the highest grade achievable. It's like saying 100%. Chloe Elizabeth Price, GPA 1.7. Brief summary, Chloe Price is a problematic student at Blackwell despite the best efforts of the faculty and administration to guide her academically. They tried, they said, they tried. Chloe does little homework and is often willfully belligerent to her teachers. She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. Even though Chloe... Uh, and soon to be suspended for, like, breaking and entering. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she chooses to squander it on empty rebellion against a non-mandatory institution. Against a non-mandatory institution? Is school not kind of mandatory? That's, like, a weird sentence. Like, what? <laughs> what? Update. Chloe Price is no longer a student at Blackwell. See attached police reports. Ooh, give me the police reports. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. No, there's a whiskey bottle. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. That's what he was drinking outside. Look at all these binders. Are there red ones? Uh? Are there red binders? So, Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully, too. There's so Shocker. much to read. Holy shit. Principal Wells, in light of the recent outrageous allegations against my son and his suspension, I feel that my large contributions to Blackwell Academy should also be suspended. <laughs> no more money for you. 
Of course, this situation can be rectified once Nathan is reinstated at Blackwell with a written apology. Along with that, I understand that the tragic event involving Miss Marsh gives you pause. But I would suggest that cancelling Thursday's party is not conducive to the can-do spirit of Blackwell Academy. I expect you to reconsider and come to the same obvious conclusion. Thank you, Sean Prescott. Hold on, hold on. I want to... Can I not see if there's other red books? There's no more red books. Okay, turn off the light before I get in trouble. You're not so tacky up close. Cute little birdie. If I would have signed the petition, I could have made the difference. Dear Miss Grant, as principal of Blackwell Academy, it is my sad, unpleasant, regrettable duty to inform you that your petition to block the new surveillance system has come up literally a handful of votes short. It is not my policy to take sides in these matters as we encourage the faculty and student body to participate in their school's operation. I recognize the controversial nature of these cameras. And rest assured they will be implemented they with the utmost concern for privacy. Thank you for your passion and inspiring students. I blah, blah, blah. We are proud of the students. Principal Wells. Okay. Even the trash bin is empty? Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step-troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped Major Bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info, let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Money. Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. <laughs> Are you gonna make a big deal out of this stealing money that would totally get us caught or at least set off alarms that someone was in the principal's office and we were digging up these files that we're not supposed to like get, let him know that we're onto him? Like, are you gonna make a big deal out of that, friend? Like, you wouldn't do that, right? <laughs> Leave the money! We cannot be exposed. You Do not really leave want evidence. To take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I oh, guess. yeah. Let's get the hell out of this office, I, Morgan. The charity thing was like secondary to my rational logic of like, that's st taking evidence that's gonna like sh prove you were there, you dumbass. Helped Chloe and me. 
but yes, also it was for charity. But I didn't even get there in my mind because I wasn't even thinking for one second that we should take it. Okay, I feel like, can I take something else? Can I do something else? Oh yeah, I can actually see them now. It's just like disciplinary warnings with the weird pictures. Rachel in the room, in the dark room. Nathan Prescott scan. Attempted theft of the Tabanga statue. Threatening the school custodian, stealing school supplies, lighting firecrackers in the bathroom, cursing an English teacher, throwing a desk in class. That's all Nathan Prescott. Rachel Ammer seemed quite upset and claimed that David Madsen was following her and taking pictures. Okay, okay. Okay, we gotta leave. We're gonna get caught. What did you that do? That impish look scares me. What did you do? Care for a midnight swim? Stop! The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? She's gonna you get us caught. you take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money cray? to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, Crayfish. at least allow Crawfish. me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish splash? You're no right. No bath. We hella deserve it. Splish splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. No! <laughs> splish splash and I'm taking a bath. Da -na -na, gonna go to jail. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Chloe! Chloe, no! Chloe, no! We're Did in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? <laughs> I still go to school here. Yeah, Chloe does not give a shit about us. Once you figure out your rewind power. She does not care that, like, we Chloe's go Chloe's so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil No, what? Uh, this is not girls' night out. This is ladies do crime. Did we really talk like this back in 2010? Uh, yeah. I think, unfortunately, we all did. Go otters. How do I leave? Let me out. <laughs> Let me out. I want to go to my room. I would love a soda, but I just get wired. I'm already wired. Hardwired for crime. Men's locker room. I actually don't have the time to investigate this caper. Lost goggles from Ray, $25. I hope the otters will survive. If only I could solve the mystery of the missing cat pics. <gasps> I'd rather do that. Okay, what am I supposed to do? The fuck? Chloe, this is your idea. <laughs> Boys or girls? Does it matter? Like, we're literally breaking in and no one's there. Um, hmm, unless there's someone else there. So, the janitor's most likely, at least from what we've seen in this game, to be a guy. So there's a possibility he might still be here in the boys' locker room. So maybe we want to pick the girls for that reason. Girls, of course. Girls. Ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. She, my logic went right over her head. <laughs> She's sitting by the pool already. How'd you do that so quickly? What the fuck? Hmm. Let's investigate. Otters eat beavers. Okay. Team spirit. Weed baggy. Is Chloe here? <laughs> Kate's locker. A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? $18 for a bus ticket? Damn, 2013. Flippers. <gasps> Let's swim like mermaids. Flippers in a swimming pool? Are they training Navy Yo, frogs? Have you here? ever swam with flippers like this? I did it a couple times. It's so fun. 
You can go so smooth and so fast and so far. It's wild. If you ever get the, forget all the scuba gear and shit. Just like get flippers, okay, and swim in the pool. Just the ones that go on your feet. You don't need a wetsuit and whatever. Like they're so wow. I was like, wow. <laughs> I'd never done it before. I was like a teenager when I tried it. <laughs> it was so fun. Those look like the most cozy, comfy towels in towel history. Want. Whose evidence is that? So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Go fuck your- Selfie? No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. These are cool shots. Yeah, that middle one is so cool. Socks! <laughs> was it $30? Where does that other sock go? Those are some musty ass old shirts. Yuck. If I could rewind back to the 1940s, I'd get in serious trouble. Girls can swim too. In case you didn't know that. Now you do. Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. Should I rewind and do the men's locker room just so I have both? Like, is that the strategy here? Like, if I go like this? Because what if there's, like, evidence from Nathan since we're, we're police over here? Let's do it. It's rewind time! Mm -hmm. Wait, no! No, I'm still in the girls' one, right? Can I go back? No, that's it. Fuck! My plan failed. Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. Ah. Where does that other sock go? I wanted to do both. Rude. Presto! Dude, it's getting old. Try and dazzle me with another trick. I want to go in the men's locker room. Yeah, it doesn't go back that far. How do I go to the pool? Like, what the fuck? I can't go to the men's locker room. I can't leave. How do I throw Chloe in the pool? I guess I have to go through here. Victoria Chase rules. Missing person poster. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> Ooh, pink goo. I see why everybody brings their own soap. Anyone need a shower? Whoa. Oxygen kit. In case I run out of air, I know where to come. <gasps> Files. <gasps> Red binders? Hmm. There's no legible names on them, but they are red. Switch on. Now I have the power over light and death. Should I turn it on? Get us all in trouble? Rescue dummy? Don't even think I'm gonna make a move on you. Why would it think that? <laughs> yes, we get it. Otters. Otters. Okay. What other files? Cup? Tea. That's it? Cup. Coffee and swimming. Good combo. Okay, there's gotta be something on this desk. Whiteboard? Otter winning whatever. Nothing on the desk? Ah, I don't want to snoop de snoop. What's this way? Nothing. Aw, look at the baby Halloween pumpkin. 
Where is the body? Where is the murder weapon? I'm waiting for a murder. Where's Rachel? Time to do or die, Max. I'm gonna like have to save Chloe or something stupid, right? She's gonna be like, oh, I forgot. I don't know how to swim. <laughs> and then I'm gonna have to fucking save her. But I'm busy, you know? Wait, can I just fall? Do I fall in the pool? No, I don't fall in the pool. I'm gonna have to build Chloe a raft. What was that? Guest list? Ugh, how do I get back there? Guest list. Looks like I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. Decisions. Add name or remove Decisions. names? Oh, I'm sorry. Your names are not on the list. Oh no, that's You'll stupid. I thought it would tell me the names. That's dumb. I hate that. Dumb. Add name. Add everyone's name. Oh, for just one picture of their faces when they see my name. Now we can go to a dumbass party. Can't wait. <laughs> Weren't we supposed to go once? Oh, should I go up there? Oh my god. Weren't we supposed to go once and I just forgot? What's this door? Uh, I have a feeling like something bad is gonna happen. I don't think anybody has ever drowned here. I hope. Yeah, I think something bad is gonna happen. Chloe! <laughs> oh yeah, baby, feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. Bunga. This is a terrible decision. We're gonna get caught. We're gonna get kicked out of school. Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. It and didn't I let me choose that movie, so to jump in or not. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's Revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> yeah, what happened to looking for evidence? Were we not crime solving? I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We yeah, know. I'd like to find her. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. I'm becoming a More woman. Like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. How are we gonna put our clothes back For on? No reason. So our underwear is wet. You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. It's uncomfortable. Wait, what? You didn't stumble when you saved me. What if I had thanks to you? What, this is a weird question. Like, I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> Not that time. But that's because you were there to kickstart my power. So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? It's all connected. What does she, like, wants to be patted on the back all the time? She wants, like, to be the one directing our power. She wants credit for the fact that we have power. I don't know. Well, I do, okay? So, just listen to Captain Chloe. Mm -hmm. I'm trying. As long as we don't waste this power. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. 
more than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Warren is nice. <laughs> nice? Ouch. That means friend zone. No, he's really cool. It was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan. But I haven't told him about my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Sounds like a threat. <laughs> now I'm getting cold in here. I'll never leave because you. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other. Outer versus shark style. Okay, something bad's gonna I, uh, happen. Something bad's I've gonna had happen. My cool experience for the year. Let's jet. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Now our pants Thanks. are gonna get wet. You would know. <laughs> it's gonna look like we peed ourselves. Hi! Hi. See? Fucking told you. Is that her stepdad? Uh. Uh. Run. Go into the school. Move, Max. Don't waste your power on getting busted. Make sure you cover the whole perimeter. Are you shitting me? We're gonna have to rewind. Dude, hide! Like when we were kids. I could use my power. Or just look for a hiding spot. Or both. Where are they? Hello? Why am I so fucking slow? Go pee! Go in the stall! Shit. Can I go over here? Hello? Anybody there? <laughs> Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I'm, I heard something over here. I'm pooping. Who's here? They're gonna yeah, catch I Chloe. A flashlight and a stick. What if they catch Chloe? We're just supposed to like listen. What, what am I supposed to do with that information? I just heard like a door close. Does that mean I'm free? Oh, I'm scared. Where's the ghosts? Where's Chloe? Oh, 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 oh. Ah! <laughs> he was like right there. <laughs> you dummy. <laughs> don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't. don't. Ah! 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 He's right there. Oh my god, Chloe's right there. Oh, fuck. Shit! Chloe's hiding there. Oh, now I have to find another spot. What? I was just in a great spot. Why did I leave then? I'll go back. My toilet spot was the best. I thought it had signaled me to leave because the POV kind of changed. But if you insist, I'll just stand here again.
How long do I have to sit on this toilet? Hello? Surely they're gone, right? The game is obviously waiting for me to enter some new prompt or something. I just, I don't know what it is. Okay, maybe they want me to go out here. <gasps> we are so invisible. Let's bail. Shh. Shut up. We're not in the clear yet. Wait, turn around. They're coming. We have to find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? <laughs> okay. Into the car. Well, they're definitely in. not going to notice you driving away in that very identifiable vehicle. <laughs> Yes, we so are. <laughs> I passed over a really hard part. I did, and I won. GG's! Guys, we won without even knowing it. Chloe is kind of crazy. You're just noticing that? CVDNP? <laughs> yes, just a little. We did it though, woo! I was convinced we were gonna get like, you know, arrested. We were going to jail. I was gonna have to rewind three times, but somehow uh, by chance we hid in the right stall. Took a little pee pee. Speaking of pee, I'm gonna do a little quick uh, pee out the tea. How about that? And uh, run a little Addy for Susie. Just a little quick one. B ride BRB. Don't worry, I'm the quickest peer in the West. I can't sleep. I'm in the East. I'm on the East of Canada. So wait, where are we? We're in Chloe's room. We never went back to the dorms. Take selfie. That's what I do whenever I wake up. I'm just like, where's my phone? I Always need to take selfie. <laughs> so I can tell people I woke Go up like mom. this. Photo hog. That's. Is that still a selfie if there's two people in it, if it's more than it just yourself? It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. 
every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I'm just uttering threats. Wish I don't mean that. just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. Okay, I need to get dressed. Dad now. gonna cat her stepdad gonna catch us? I don't think I'll be moshing today. Uh oh. Glad to see you didn't blow up Blackwell last night. Almost glad. By the way, the drive-in is actually popular, so I'm buying the ticks now. I'll let you take care of popcorn. In other words, you can't back out now. Chloe's gonna be mad if we're not allowed to spend time with other people. Closet. I still feel guilty for not busting out of here to stop David from hitting Chloe. Wow. I remember this Aww. old phone. We decorated it together. It's a Motorola flip phone. I actually never had one of those. I wasn't cool enough. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Oh, those, there's our condoms. <laughs> I love this song. Probably gonna get copyrighted. Wow, sir. That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. Okay, okay. Anything with the power bar to do? Nothing, nothing. What else? What else can I snoop to whoop? <gasps> so many things to snoop. Mm, joint. <laughs> Smoke. <laughs> can I check out the news on this old lap? <sighs> At least we haven't been identified. Incident. Yet. Police and fire departments responded to a break-in and vandalism on the Blackwell Academy campus around 1.30 a.m. Police have not stated if they have any suspects yet. Incident. Police arrested a nude man with a sword at Up All Night Donuts off Peckinpah Road at approximately 8.52 p.m. The unidentified man was charged with being under the influence of energy drinks and met methamphetamines. He is being held without bail, uh, pending further investigation. Okay. Thank God she's okay. Blackwell student. I wonder when I can visit her. In stable condition to Chloe. Following a public suicide threat at Blackwell, Kate Marsh is reportedly in stable condition. No information. They send that to like the whole student list? Is that how that's supposed to work? Book. Chloe is so damn cute. She's really trying to suss out what my vision means. Mystic weather. I was such a wuss to cower in the closet while David hit her. All the missing, missing posters. I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. Holy shit balls. Frank is scary. Frank, Chloe, I should money let now. Chloe take that money. I don't have your money yet. This is my last message. I'll get it. Now, you fucking whore. Okay, Frank. Eat a hamburger. Chill. Time to put on your daily armor, Max. Ugh. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. Didn't I just do that? I don't think I'll be moshing today. There's no suitable outfits. Oh, now there is. I still feel guilty for not busting out of here to stop. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. 
at least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. Did her hair fade from but the chlorine? it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. What? <laughs> I, I was just wondering if I could wear some clothes. And now you, you just, just put me, you basically, like, what? <laughs> Do I have to, to wear clothes? <laughs> Sorry, not that easy. Oh, like I am? Just admit that you already macked on me, then used your rewind. Now I can text Warren that you're saving yourself all for him. I am so going to best unfriend you for that. I love that Chloe is so fearless. Do we though? The, okay, okay, chat, calm down, calm down. I know, you just wanna see lesbians, okay? Everyone have some self-reflection time. Yes, you may just wanna see that, but uh, is this the best thing for our character right now, given all the, I would argue, negative life actions that have occurred since directly being involved with Chloe, whether as friends or potentially otherwise, I would expect that would make our likelihood of making the wrong choices worse if all we do is rationalize with emotions, or in other words, stop rationalizing at all. <laughs> We're already on this path of like, do whatever she says, including like, now we have to bring out our punk goth girl, according to her because she just literally dictated to it. Like, we don't have choices anymore. So I'm not falling into this trap. And that is why I'm resisting, because I feel like that gameplay path is more likely to lead to us getting in worse trouble. But it's the more dangerous, fun path, and that's going to entice the player. They're like, oh, I want to go down this road. But me, I don't want to go down any road with risks. I am your mother. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're getting dressed now. As uh, as Chloe would like us to get dressed in a particular style that is the style she is already imposing on us. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra? Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to, uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? She's just been too, like, aggressive for me. It's, it's like, I'm not just gonna say yes, you know? Just cause she said. Oh my god, that smells so amazing. We got work to do. We were supposed to do detective work. What happened to that? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> okay. Uh, hey, okay, uh, Kate, and thanks so much for talking to me. Max, thank you from, from my heart. Thank you from my heart for reaching out to me on the roof. You're the one who was there for me at school, the only one who truly cared. I have to believe that you were sent to give me hope. You did so much more than that. My father is grateful as well. You'll always be in our prayers. Love and blessings, your friend Kate. Hey Kate, I'm so glad you're okay. I will visit as soon as I can, I promise. It's like when we were kids here. <gasps> is it time to pee? Let's take a selfie of us going pee pee on the potty. I'm gonna give it to my teachy, submit it for photography. Look how cool I am. I'm so cool now. Hair dye. <laughs> you know, I haven't gone through a dyeing my hair blue phase yet. How about we just Maybe it's time. look exactly like Chloe? Let's just copy Chloe. Feels so good to wash my face after all that chlorine. 
and hiding. What's ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. Do we shower or no? Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> Serious flashback. There's no option to shower. We're just gonna stink like chlorine. Brilliant. Okay, at least there's no option to dye your hair blue. Imagine. Imagine the game was like, and now you can become Chloe. I better not go in there. David might be in bed. Ew. For everybody else in the neighborhood, it's just another morning. But what's it for us? An evening? Yeah, why did we just use her toothbrush? <laughs> oh, it's the... Uh, let's talk to Joyce. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel! Uh, I, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved them. <laughs> that was I the hardest know. choice in the game. We would erase each other to grab yep. them from the stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Mm. Eggs and milk? No problem. Eggs and milk? How many milks do you have? I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Don't I go in the... How do I go in the refrigerator for the eggs and milk? <laughs> Aren't they stored in the refrigerator? What? Joyce, where the fuck do you keep your eggs and milk, lady? Oh, why are they here? The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Okay, well, I keep them in the fridge. I love that they still have the same where refrigerator. Where else do you put milk? Not the fridge? Wowzer. Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. Where the fuck's the milk? What? Joyce? Where do you keep your milk if not in the refrigerator? It's on the table? Why would you- <laughs> Now for the mother's milk. This is wrong. This is so wrong. I gotta leave. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. We're gonna go missing Such next. A sweet girl. Is that the plot? I'm just hoping she's living large in LA. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but someone lied to you. We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. It's Rachel McAdams, you know? Okay, mm, let's get some dirt. Was Rachel mad at Chloe? Is there any reason that Rachel might be mad at Chloe and left without her? Chloe could piss everybody off but her. They were almost joined at the head. Reminded me of you and Chloe. But Rachel wasn't as grounded as you. I'm grounded? Since when? Maybe that's why Chloe likes Rachel so much. Yeah, we just broke into a school <laughs> last night. Max Caulfield. Are you actually jealous of Rachel? No, she's missing. So, that's a weird thing to say, mother figure. Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. 
<gasps> Do we have to sit with David? Ew! Wait, can I go back? Go on, grab a seat, Max. No. I'm almost done with I wanted up to try a different path. Breakfast. To get a uh, more conversation, you know? Get more tea. Oh, man. I don't want to be famous for this. Flash snow and freak eclipse. Apocalypse soon? Apocalypse soon. Beer. Who drinks beer this early around here? David. Magazines. Couch. Oh, jeez. Can you help me get this bird out of here? What? What bird? What are you talking about? Joyce, you good? Go on, grab a seat, Max. I'm almost done whipping up this amazing breakfast. She, uh, she what? <laughs> Erase. David, this is Officer Corn. Just want to let you know your stepdaughter's car was identified near the Blackwell campus last night around the time of the break-ins. What? Give me a call <sighs> soon. Are you in trouble again, Chloe? Don't you sleep? Message deleted. Goodbye, message. I think <laughs> Chloe has earned a break from all this bullshit. Okay, the only reason why I'm deleting it is because I'm implicated in that situation and I am doing self-preservation. Not doing it to help out Chloe, although it also has that effect, but that's not how I am making my decision. Tavra Levine! This might be the one time these people are right. The end is now. Are you still ignoring his warnings? Did you feel the snow? Witness the eclipse. Seeing the dying animals, the signs are upon us. Arcadia Bay is the final battleground for Pazuzu. What's a Pazuzu? Pazuzu? Is that a thing? Like, is that a real thing? Like an, uh, like an apocalypse? For behold, the Lord will come in fire and his chariots like the whirlwind to render his anger with fury or hit and his rebuke with flames of fire. For the Lord will execute judgment by fire. Save your soul today. Repent. Call 1-800-CHURCH-OF-VINAL. Okay, it doesn't say that. <laughs> what? It's a horror novel reference. Okay. It's, it's like a demon? Um... Hmm. Lots of signs about weather so far in this game. So I'm anticipating some kind of storm that we're gonna have to like rewind time and prevent. Are we finally gonna go to hell? Could be fun. Oh, there's the bird. <laughs> Look at the bird. I love him. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. How am I gonna clean if I can't leave the table? I guess nobody waters the plant here. Oh man, I don't wanna be, f I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Dad number one. Now that's what I call pancakes. Watch the bird just steal my pancake. So like, what are we doing? We're just like eating? Seeing you again. By ourselves here? <laughs> oh, made me remember so much. Okay, give me the details. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. He just prefers a little slappy slip. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. No, we don't. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. 
He had his car out right after this, and... And... He died. I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Here she comes. Uh-oh. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always yes. about you. Chloe, please. <laughs> it's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I like oh, how we stepped up to her, though. You go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering, or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Uh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. <sighs> I have we to literally the are trying to Sure, sneak. run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Just well, listen this is to lovely. Yourself. Thanks Nobody for inviting me. Okay, I have I work do to need do. to get into David's computer. He's got to be hiding shit. All right, you guys argue. I'm going to do some detective work. Do do do. Do do do. Going to do some simply detective work. What's by the car? I'm too far from the stuff I got to look into. Oil spill. Ooh, it's magical. Look at the color of shift. It's like a unicorn. Let's go. Ooh, look. I bet David has all of his surveillance secrets in his laptop. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. More clues. We need clues. I need more clues. Hmm, it's probably something really stupid like his birthday. Or his wedding day. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Arcadia Bay. Nothing to see here. Nothing in it. Naturally, David would buy a. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. 7171. Seven, one. What if we try that? Password, personal, family, or quit. What? Oh, 7171. Such wrong. Fuck. They baited me. Stepdad. Worst hacker ever. Uh -oh. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. That was two. That was two attempts, you liar. Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she steals it back from Frank. Huh. Maybe those this numbers? ID number might work. ID numbers. Okay, wait. Turn that off. I don't want that on. Weird picture to keep it yourself. I could try the license number for the password. License number or ID number. Wait, there's something else. This door. Huh. Maybe this ID okay, number. We were just in there. Same drawer, same drawer. Blah, blah, blah. Book? Looks like David has read this a lot. Coming back home, a veteran's good. Okay. Okay, let's try this again. Army. Try again. Nope. No way, Max. You totally froze the That's laptop. That's two attempts. There, I 
think now I had to go to the first. Yeah, that's why. Okay, holy shit, that was the longest rewrite in history. Uh, I already tried step douche. I already tried the ID number. I already tried the army number. I already tried the padlock number. Like, I already have all these. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. I already did that. I could try the license number for the password. The license number I didn't do, but I did the army ID. Oh no, wait, I already did that, right? Hold on, here, I'll tell you. So if I did personal, I already did the license number. And I did 7171. I already did stepdad. And I already did the army number. There's more clues, sir. Oh, what's that? David has been dragging his head around since 2001. Is 2001 the thing? No, shit. Okay, hold on, I gotta go back. Cause there's only one thing in the army. Let's see if there's something else popped up by the car. See, there's more, why wasn't this here before? Like I already came in here. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. Yeah. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Do I go there? I'm scared. He's gonna come. Okay, so let's see if this is the password. Max the hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Rachel has been cutting class all week. Frank and Rachel meet once again. That's the guy in the sketch trailer. Rachel avoids her dormitory. Followed Rachel to Lighthouse. Name of Oresti, Rachel Amber. The crimes alleged are redacted, along with the date of the crime, date of arrest, other arrestees, reporting officer Anderson Berry. Rachel Amber, 18, was picked up at 2.35 p.m. at Blackwell Academy for possession of a controlled substance. This was reported by David Madsen, head of campus security, who witnessed her trying to hide or secure a suspicious medical bag. This officer was called into question Miss Amber who responded with threats and denials. Her bag was found to contain various illegal pharmaceuticals. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. Kate M follows same path to every class. Wow. Brilliant detective work. She goes to class using the same path. <laughs> what? <laughs> She has class in the same spot once a week. Holy shit, this is re amazing detective work here. Good job, David. Overheard Kate and Dana W t talking about suppliers for Vortep Vortex Club parties. Drugs? Watch Kate with her church group. She knows her Bible. <laughs> okay. Kate stays in bathroom longer than other students. Drugs? Yes, absolutely. Whenever I go pee, I'm actually doing drugs. Really quick drugs, though. Qu quick drugs. You know, not the long drugs. Saw Kate helping Jefferson after class. Don't trust grown men with goatees. Aren't we a grown man with a goatee? Like, I mean, you know, the David. Kate has kept to herself since Vortex Club party. Not even church. Drugs? <laughs> Kate? walked down a road and put her hands into her pocket. Drugs? Kate went into a tea store. Drugs? 
tried to talk to Kate about the party. She got upset and ran. Guilty. Drugs. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. Max. Online aliases. Mad Max. Max Factor. That's a cosmetics company. <laughs> Noir Angel. Her class schedule. Ah! What a freak. Drugs. I better tell Chloe about this now. It's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. Is there any reason we can we should keep snooping? What's this? Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. A tape. Wait, wait. Oh. Boring. What's wrong? You didn't make enough pancakes? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> she looked mad. Ah! Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? What happened? Some little shit ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Me. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Go on. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Careful. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everyone. We gotta play smart, like though. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not Chloe, now. Chloe, be yeah, smart. I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? We haven't even told her yet about what we found. Why are we siding with anyone? This isn't our business! <laughs> okay, we have to play smart. She's not being smart. Clearly he's a fucking psycho. You can't just go off on a psycho unless you want to be murdered. <laughs> Holy shit. Do we, do we have to side with Chloe? Cause like, that's just either, either option is inserting ourselves into this, like, you know, family issue that does need some help and assistance from an outside party, but that's not fucking us. <laughs> no, I don't want to do either. I want to leave and then evaluate and rethink what to do about the situation with the information that we have just discovered. We have to be careful. If we side with Chloe and we tell him what we just found, he could just murder us, you know, or he's probably like a step ahead. We'd be giving him a few steps in advance if we tell him this information. We got to keep it close to the chest. If we side with David, then we're, we would just be lying. Like we're just saying that, right? We would, we'd be basically acting, but maybe it would give us the upper hand so we can take the information without tipping him off. So then we can use it against him later, maybe by like maybe reporting it to authorities. Simply overthinking, that's what I do. We could do both. What if we do both? I kinda wanna see what happens if we press side with David and then we'll rewind. Listen, we don't know that David did anything and nobody has any proof against him. We do, we're just as pretending. As far as we know, it's Nathan Prescott who's the real threat so far. I would cut David slack here. Oh, would you? How generous, King Max. Shh, we're so gonna get him later. It doesn't matter how shady David has been acting, or that he keeps all those weird files on your classmates, or how you're always going off on how creepy David Enough. is. Enough! I don't want anybody being accused of anything. There's been too much of that crap going on around here lately, and I don't want it in my home today. Well, I agree with that. Now, if you all don't mind, I'd like to forget about work, See? and sit down, and eat some of this incredible grub. I have to take a dump. Are you coming, Max? 
I want you guys to understand here that that choice isn't like I love him, I hate Chloe. Maybe I went too easy. <laughs> That's on not it. For Joyce's sake. The point is, don't tip him off and use the information we just gained to think smart about what we could do with it. Because now he's just like, okay, I'm gonna eat now. I'm a dumbass, you know. I don't know if this game is on that level though. So like maybe it isn't meant to be thought that deeply and they actually just wanted the player to be like do you want to protect your friend or not maybe it really was that simple so we'll do the other one too but if i'm if this is real life i am not telling him all the information i have right in that moment which is not very safe for either of us you have to play the game a little bit and then think smart Okay, David, come on, where you at? You know for sure it was Black Whale students. <sighs> Figures. Leap. Start, Club. Now let's see what happens. Because if he acts like he's getting tipped off, then I'm going back. The game doesn't think that hard? Okay, see? All right, maybe this game is just simple emotions. Like, do you support your friend or, or an abuser? And it's that simple. <laughs> You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even hit your stepdaughter. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Chloe was doing <laughs> drugs. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David, why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course, women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't. Kick me out of my He's gonna own go home. Rogue. It's my home, David. Paid this is for, not smart. and then my nope. name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm outflanked. Have a nice day, Chloe. For once, just please shut up. Like we just. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. The confidence of such an insecure man being shattered will lead to him having in continued poor judgment and taking it out on us for what just happened. So if this is gonna play out like what a sort of real story in this paradox was, I would expect this is not a good direction for if we're talking about the risk to like anyone in this family, specifically the women. I... Yeah, let's see. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Enough that I'm thinking about murdering someone. And if that happens, it's because we angered him, because he's a, he's a fucking fragile idiot, but you have to be careful with fragile idiots. I'm not saying it's our fault. I'm just saying you got to be careful. Max, don't beat yourself up. I kind of want to undo it. I want to undo it. Understand? <laughs> And I want to take him down with intelligence later. I don't know if this game has that option or outcome, but I kind of want to try. Half the chat, do not undo the other half. Keep it, keep it. Or sorry, the other half, <laughs> undo the other half, keep it. <laughs> What if I just leave? Can I just leave? No need to go there. No! Now. No reason to go now. <laughs> I 
don't want either. I'm just kind of afraid that even though I'm thinking on this, like, you know, I want to play uh, chess with this, but I think this game only serves checkers. Listen, we don't know that David did anything and nobody has any proof against him. As far as we know, it's Nathan Prescott who's the real threat so far. I would cut David slack here. Oh, would you? How generous, King Max. So suddenly it doesn't matter how shady David has been acting. Chloe. Or that he keeps all those weird yeah, yeah. files on your He's classmates. Good. Or how you're always going off on how creepy David Enough. is. Enough! I don't want anybody being accused of anything. There's been too much of that crap going on around here lately, and I don't want it in my home today. Well, I agree with that. Now, if you all don't mind, I'd like to forget about work and sit down and eat some of this incredible grub. I have to take a dump. Are you coming, Max? This game is simple. Okay, like all the chat has already played this game and they're basically telling me this doesn't help. <laughs> but I've already reround so many times. Like, okay, you're just gonna have to see this outcome. Thanks for letting me down again, Max. Why can't you just rewind so I don't have to see you defending cool. that asshole? This... <laughs> this is the part where we say, listen, Chloe, we're just not angering him because he has 17 guns in the fucking garage. If you haven't noticed, he's also abusive. We should probably not risk your fucking life, Chloe. You're welcome. Okay, the, the game literally said rewind. Does that mean I have to? Like, will it not let me progress? Or should I just leave? Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. It's the if chaos you're not outcome. Believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. Oops. We Let's left. check the door. Frank gets Oops. so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. You need more tea? I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. No, we want chaos. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, go on. I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. A Scooby snack? Scooby now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Hmm. Careful, Max. Cujo ahead. Hmm. 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 What the hell is this? I hope she finds a nice T-bone to keep the doggy busy. Pizza. <gasps> Cock car. Damn, there has to be We should get in, because we basically think we're the police. Bird! <gasps> no, it's dead. What is going on here? Well, I think the bird flew into the window and died. But, you know, it could just be taking a nap. <gasps> Another dead bird. Oh my god. That note about impending doom, Jesus is coming to kill us all is right. Another dead bird. Oh my god. What is happening? <gasps> Why are there so many? Fishermen, what's going on? You're supposed to catch fish, not birds. Look at all these flyers. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody over- Uh-oh. Text message. Maxine, pop here. I'm sorry I haven't gotten in touch sooner. I know your mom is very proud of you for saving that girl, as am I. We have no doubt sending you to black- Blah, blah. Shut up. <laughs> sorry, I can't deal with this. It makes us so proud to read about you in the news. Ew, stop, parents. This is not the correct- reinforcement that you think is positive positive. and if you want to come back down back if you want to come back home now to relax and maybe go to a high school around here the door is wide open 
What? What? I'm not ready to come home yet, but thanks. Bye. Okay. Eat them. Fisherman, help me. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? Yes. Climate change. You don't think it could be like climate change or something? Climate sure has changed around here. Just saw that Prescott brat having a fit by himself in the parking lot. Isn't he always having a fit? He ain't the only one. If you knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay. Sorry, I'm too pissed to talk about it. See you around, What's kid. What's going on with the fish in the bay? Anyway, tell me about Good the fish. Good lord, bacon. I'm <gasps> ready to nosh The nosh weird again. lady's gone. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Warren. Okay, it's officially sold out, but I managed to get us both tickets. Had to fight a dozen bullies off for them, though. Nerds. Okay. Wait, we don't want to speak to him, right? Frank Bauer stars in A Face Full of Beans. Spill? You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans! <laughs> oh, I guess we gotta rewind. <laughs> but I like this option. What? What if I spill his can? I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. Do it. Fucking, I dare you. Kill me and I'll un <laughs> rewind. Okay. Eh, we're just doing that for fundies. You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. What is... In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer. I... Or even Nathan. What? And then what? go all Groundhog Day on what? them until I get the info I need. What conversation did we just have? Good morning. <clears throat> that doesn't explain the recent extreme weather patterns. No, but we have to start with the hypothesis that climate change is a partial cause for the unseasonal weather. That doesn't explain everything, of course. Frankly, we don't know yet. Dr. Hedora. Will your team know more after their latest tests? I hope we see more patterns, which gives us an atmospheric template. Many local residents of Arcadia Bay have been questioning what has been going on with this crazy weather. We had an eclipse yesterday, a snowstorm two days ago, which, as most of you know, is not common this time of year. It's unprecedented, to be honest with you. Uh, the last time that we had a snowstorm of this caliber was over a hundred years ago. All of us are questioning. What is happening in Arcadia Bay? Please feel free to call in and let me know what your experience Let's call. has been. What you think this might be? Is this global warming? What is causing all of this crazy weather? Cool. Let's go pee. Shit. What are the other signs then? The seventh sign, the sea and sky will turn black and living things die because of it. Rachel A owes me a BJ, so does your mom. Brilliant. Okay, we we're supposed to talk to like the cop or whatever. 
There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Okay, Barry. okay. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. I'm not representing any fucking person, school, or institution. <laughs> uh, next. What? What the? What option is next? Oh, there's just more. Nathan Prescott. <laughs> okay. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Ew. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. And I will never charge him with Man, a crime. if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. Go back 20 years. Speak to him we'll again. We'll chat later, Max. Aw. I wanna talk I some more. I shouldn't have said that. Looks tasty, but my need for keys comes first. Wait, I shouldn't have said that? Why shouldn't I have said that? The fuck? Me. In interactions. Why should I not have said that? Please explain. Oh, okay. We went too far. Wait, so I ask him something else? There she is. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was... I'm glad you're representing... David Madsen? I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. <laughs> Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. Mm -hmm. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Oh. Okay. <gasps> it's the weird lady! The ma'am! Please look this way! Oh no. She won't look at me in interaction. She's wearing the same thing. She looks good. She's got her hands beside the muffin. She hasn't touched it. She doesn't even have her tea yet. That's why she looks like she's in distress. <laughs> Miss. 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 If only I had a chance to speak with the weird lady. <laughs> Who is she looking for? <laughs> I can't talk to him either. Okay, well, that, that's me in a video game, if you're wondering. That lady over there, that is me. <gasps> Nathan! Nathan has time to get drugs from Frank the... Rachel? Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh, look. Max Amber. Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Considering we're okay. in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh, yeah? No, let him. You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. Hmm. Hmm. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. What? Okay. I, so talking to this person makes me more stupid. <laughs> okay. What else am I supposed to talk to him about? Rachel! Your father. Drugs for sale. Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby ass. I do hardcore drugs. How do you think Shut I up. stay wired all night studying? So is it a At deal or not? Him. Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. <sighs> cool. Wow. We're gonna get drugs. Yeah. Yeah! We just got the secret code to getting drugs in this town. Drugs? Is the answer drugs? Yes, it is. What? 
That's not what I hit. I just wanted to see Fuck. what would happen if I did this. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> just, just kidding. Okay, do you remember the mission? <laughs> we're trying to get into his trailer, but we're gonna do so by pretending that we want drugs. What the fuck now? By the way, Frank, I was wondering if you had any, um, higher education. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. Do you want the after-school special to go with that? <laughs> Jesus. Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. Not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time on your hands. But, I go to but school, nothing. sir. <laughs> don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Ever. And I'll back off. What? It didn't work. Get a new outfit. And leave me alone. Oh, rude. I shouldn't have said that. I'll need to rewind. <laughs> I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. Do it. Fucking uh, do it. Okay, let's. We gotta rewind, anyways. Okay, so that didn't work. Let's just rewind the conversation with this dipshit. Just for fun. Okay, who else in this diner can help us? Maybe another option with Nathan? Rachel! Uh, whatever the- Shut up. <laughs> Your father. Your sugar daddy will always protect you. And threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. I'm the police. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. Okay, yeah, well that was stupid. Yeah, why did he say sugar daddy? Like, what? Like, no, that's not... That, that means something different. <laughs> okay, let's try the What can I do again. for you, Max? Prescott deal. Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell with Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. And to his credit, he had a revelation. And he saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? Right. But, like, the whole point of this chapter is to uh, not stay away from him. Do I just leave and go back to his trailer? No reason to go now. I don't understand. I need his, like, keys to get in the trailer, but only he has the keys. And if I talk to him, he just gets mad at me. <laughs> what the fuck now? Buy drug. No, we tried that. It did not work. Saved dogs. You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. We're sucking up to him. Could I pet the doggy? <laughs> I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. I love dog shit, please. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. What? But no fix for you. 
But I want your drugs. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. He's gonna murder Give us. me my keys now. Murder. Okay, now we'll rewind. So how do we take his keys? Oh, we already have Keep them. Running. Now back to Chloe. Oh, got it. We took his keys without him knowing. He attempted to murder me like five times. Oh, there's that girl who we always, <laughs> who's always having shit happen to her like a football in the head. <laughs> I'd love to talk, Max, but I'm drowning in puddle scum. I mean, like, what else nope, are you doing? I don't. I'd love to talk, Max, but I'm drowning in puddle okay, scum. Okay, we tried to be nice. You said you were busy, and you were clearly not. I tried. Okay, we got keys. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. Rewind and save her from puddle scum. On your mark, get set. Throw. <laughs> throw towards the road. Throw in the parking lot. I don't know. Get the treat, treat boy. I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace. We don't want the well, dog to run time. over. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. The joy of watering. <laughs> what? Damn. I thought my room was a shithole. Ultra You're death. not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Who did the murder? Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast okay, of Big Sur and beyond? Stop forgetting the mission. Chloe, stop. Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you dare me to drive it like you dared me to kiss you? Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. <laughs> Casually mentioned. I know. Yeah, just maybe daydream. don't just, you know, <laughs> dare us to do things like that. Maybe it's more about, like, asking, you know, respectfully. Respectful questions. You scoop the, the archetypal area of filthy guy dishes. Cupboard open. Frank, no nope. prize here. Knife. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. Okay, we can use it. Oh, that looks so cool. Why is it taped up so... Baggies? Baggies? Of Chocolate course bar? Frank gets the munchies. Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. Recycle, dude. Um, probably not. I don't think baggies exactly are that expensive. Here. Let's take him days. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. That's a pretty extreme lighter. Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder. What the ring. fuck is that? Katie, Bruce, there's like numbers. Is there a Rachel, Johnny, Tony? There's no Rachel. It's fucking weird. It's probably just like how many, like how much money or drugs or whatever are owed. It's like a client Whoa, list. What the hell is he doing with that dog? <sighs> Stop it. Is Frank going to deal online now? I had to start a web business. He's doing DTC, drugs, DTC. It's a new thing. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. Okay. No more secrets. Okay. Where is the right tool? That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. I don't know, it looks like a selfie to me. Ooh, Frank's stash. Those look like pickles. Are those pickles? 
Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. All right, is Frank going to deal online now? He's gonna open his short his uh, store on Shopify. <laughs> okay, I need a tool. How can somebody live like this? I don't know. I've seen worse. In heavy rain. Knife. Can I use this as the tool? Yes. This is almost as good as a set of keys. So I cannot believe he would wear a collar and a furry mask. You're dumb. My blade will open any portal. Hmm. Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. Wait, they shared the dog, like for how long? I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Frankie B, hope you read this first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night. I was being a monstrous bitch and took it out on you. And poor Pompadou. There's a lot of weird shit going on in my life. And sometimes I feel like I'm never going to get out of Arcadia Bay. Thank God for you. You're one of the best things I have here. And I smile when I think of us together. Let's just drive out of here forever. Love you always, R.A. Like Rachel. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks... Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. <laughs> hmm. Trouble in paradise. Frank, that was not cool what you did, and don't blame the drugs. You actually scared me, and I thought you'd never chill out. I've never seen you act that way, and the next time will be the last. I'm a Leo. What? Oh, like astrology? I'm a Leo, and we don't look back. I care about you. Uh, so maybe we need to break our routine. What do you do? Okay, just just a little yikesies. Can I put that back? Oh, I can't put it back. Oh no, there's gonna be evidence. Uh, wait, how do I open this one? Do I have to rewind? Oh, I have to rewind. Duh. I cannot believe he would wear a collar and a furry mask. Wait, how come I can't open this one? Right? Okay, whatever. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. Rachel's our age, right? She wasn't much of a friend, huh? There's <laughs> another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets Kate. killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a stepfucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Oh my god! Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! You totally defended step stalker. Fuck everybody. I have Chloe. a plan. Chill. Okay, like, we're worried about Rachel's safety and well-being, and Chloe's response is, She let me down. <laughs> Wait, why did she just throw them up? We were trying to find out where she is. No! <laughs> what just mm -hmm. happened? She just threw the keys on the roof, and he's just eating his fucking beans. Just eating my beans. My beans need to be eaten. Somebody's gotta eat them. Nobody's gonna spill them. Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. Yes, I will. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody. Otherwise, it's all my fault. Fuck that. No, sometimes shit just happens. This is what happens, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, if we tell her to grow up, she's just gonna crash a car. If we say it's nobody's fault, that's too reasonable. She's not ready to hear us yet. And if we say Rachel and Frank, she's gonna get mad. Cause she's just jealous and not thinking about Rachel's well-being or safety right now. Hmm. None of these will probably have an effective outcome cause we're not really speaking to someone who can process and reason in a reasonable way. So we're, whatever it is, we're not gonna get, you know, a desired outcome. 
It's just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah, 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 as Mr. Jefferson would say. And, and Kate Marsh... Yes, Kate Marsh almost killed herself. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel any better about my fucked up life. Get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? William or David? I mean, if we say William, do you think she'll get less angry? Because David's the active harm in her life, currently. So maybe, maybe we'll do William, because that's like something you can't change. And maybe she just needs to process it to move on. You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to die. you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Didn't he die? And he die? never does. No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Okay, but he, what? Maybe the, the story isn't telling us fully what happened on purpose. But like, if he died, it was, an, it was a car accident, like, it was an accident. I mean, I'm not saying that means no big deal. I'm just saying, like, these are things, unfortunately, that you cannot rewind. Unless we can rewind <laughs> to 10 years ago. <laughs> okay. Um. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here, alive, with me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. Focus on now. Stop being mad at the past. Can't change it, unless you have my powers, which you don't. They're mine. She's so mad. Look at how mad she is. It is what it is. Chloe. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell her it is what it is. <laughs> Yo, don't mistake this as like not caring that she has some serious shit she needs to deal with. But I think there's a difference between like acknowledging that she needs some help and not because of that allowing it to like cause us to get into all of the shit which will fundamentally alter the future of our lives and drag us the fuck down like breaking into things causing so much chaos and getting involved oh with my God. illegal activities what is happening now like two things can be true at once is what i'm trying to say she can have trauma and she needs help and support but you can't let that mean she can dictate that like someone else like Max should do whatever she says just to make her temporarily feel better. That's not the answer for Chloe. It's not the answer for us. But this game is probably not that complicated. <laughs> Use left and right to focus on the photo. Someday dad will get one of them newfangled computers. Flashback. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Did we just rewind well, to now? I might just allow this one into the family album. No. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Hint, Daddy. Yes, and we can't. Chloe is just a kid. Do we rewind and 10 years ago? Can we go back in time? You mean pancakes? Can we in France, save her? William 18 years like old inside my 13 year old self. If you want to Did I applesauce? <laughs> we. I volunteered to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. 
Right, like you're the real cook here? Wait, does that mean I, I'm gonna spend 10 gonna... years in this game? I'll let her know that. To, <laughs> to get back to being 18? What? <laughs> Is that J14 magazine? Man, I remember Chloe reading this. Redneck chic? But not after today. When was that popular? I miss that era. What a mess we made. I remember those cool drawings I did with Chloe. Hello. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. Chloe was so into manga. Nice hair. Are we, are we stuck here and we have to spend like what? eight more years getting to the present? That's a cool snow dough. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. A mocha? Need I say mocha? I, I know they never took that big vacation. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. Ridiculous. Oh, yeah. I miss no, me. He can't go. Here. He can't go. Cookies and popcorn. Oh, shit. Where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college Don't go. fund? Keys. How do I stop him? Find his keys. Hide them. Aha! Uh -huh. You can't hide from me? No! Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. Yes! Here's the two whales number. Now I can warn Joyce. So, how many eggs? Don't you dip. Uh, hello. Hi, could I please talk to Joyce Price? Oh, she left? Damn. Uh, are you sure? Okay, sorry. Thanks. I question the chef. Right, what, like telephone plug unplug? Here? Wait, where I are his keys? I'll let her know that. Uh, Mr. Price, in case you're thinking about using your car, I heard there's awful traffic and road construction, so you shouldn't drive at all. Max, you are the road warrior. I promise if I have to go anywhere, I'll drive like I'm taking a test. Fair enough? Not really. I just know the roads are bad and stuff, so... So you- Since you're obviously my personal GPS, I feel safer already. So don't look so worried, Max. Where's his keys? Now I get to take a picture. Let's take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young. Okay, so if we unplug the phone, he won't get a call, but I s how Boom. do I know? Disconnected. That's gonna stop him from going anywhere. He's gonna leave eventually. Hey, honey. I, I have no idea why the home phone didn't ring just now. I'm just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Matt. See? We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. No! Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the safe. Whoa! Boat. It's all blurry here. Like I can't step out of the photograph. You yes. Here's the two whales number. Now I can warn Joyce. But that didn't work. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit. Where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Wait. Just watch him to find where the keys are, and then I can get them later. Oh, they're in his jacket. No. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh. You can't hide. Okay. I got him! I got him! Trip him! Stop him! Score! I want some cookies. Unplug the phone. Fuck! No! You're too fast! Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. 
What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. No, you won't. Of course I'll come pick you up. He probably has spare keys. Now an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you upon. You are ridiculous. <laughs> Let's see what happens. You'll be grateful for that some. I forgot about this. Back to the lighthouse. Let's see what happens. dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund. Keys, please. You're not going anywhere, buddy. Shh, my family never took yeah, fun, goofy keys? photos like this. Another dollar for the swear jar! They're gone. You're bankrupting me! Watch him find spare keys, though. What is that? Oh. I knew this thing would come in handy. No! How the hell did my keys end up here? And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us it a world no famous rewind. salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. <coughs> Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Fuck this game. How do I re Oh, now I can rewind. What? Disconnected. Hey, honey. I, I have no idea why the home phone didn't ring just now. I'm just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. Ben, what? how do I stop the murder? Oh, I didn't know you had to get oh, groceries. Dinner. Of course I'll come Thanks. pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse yeah. to get a mocha. But look at the, are you shouldn't. not watching? Love you. He's not watching, it's intense. I'm trying to stop a death here. <laughs> Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. <laughs> Can I throw you the keys ridiculous. somewhere? You'll be grateful for that someday. I hid them in the Shit, basket. Where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Will he find them? It won't let me go that way. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! I knew this thing would Fuck. come in handy. How the hell did my... What am I supposed no to do? Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake. Okay, rewind. Holy shit, this is very confusing. Do, like, can I even put them outside or in a fucking toilet? Hold on, what if I go, like, earlier? I still have the keys. Crap! I need to hide the keys where William won't hear his dumb beeper. Can I go outside? Throw them in the fire. Jar? No. Snow globe? No. Fireplace? Draw. What? Hello? What did that hey, do? Honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast. Oh, with yeah, Paul yeah. And Max. Here we go. We're going to work at the two whales. Okay, what? I threw them outside. He's not going to find them. I know I had those keys right nope. here. I know it. You no, you don't. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. I love the bus. It comes every fifteen minutes, and there'll be plenty it's of room amazing. for you and, and joys and groceries and. And it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. 
You feel okay? Life is strange, Chloe. Chloe. I am awesome. We are awesome. Watch, she's still gonna die on the bus. So... So what's happening? Are we undoing things that happened in a parallel universe? Did we change the past? Did we win, GG's? Did we beat the game? Are we still at Blackwell? I'm not paying $150 for a concert. I heard that the Vortex Club parties are wild. Dude, the service fee is like 50%. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? <gasps> We're friends with her? Told me that Oregon was Max. Cold every day. But Never like Maxine. So that's why she was laughing so hard. I know, sorry, Mad is Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Do you want to go hit the girls' California potty and smoke them peace pipe? I think Max is high. She's acting like so weird. Taylor Swift still looks you like cool, Taylor. Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. So are what? we a popular kid? He hooked up with Stella? Oh no, this is totally yeah. This is like up. the butter. This what is the butterfly uh, effect with Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> Chloe, watch. We're like not friends with Chloe. <laughs> so. David Madsen's not Chloe's stepfather, presumably. What is going on? Like, where's Chloe? Maybe we just stopped talking when we were 13. But maybe she's better off. Like, maybe she's just happy, even if we're not friends. And her life took a different path. I would, I would be content with that. I'd be happy if she was just like, you know, had a better life path, even if it meant we weren't besties. And Rachel. Why does this feel like the end of the game? This isn't the end of the game, right? There's more than three episodes. Is this the end of the game? What's going on? <laughs> Climate change. The Earth is dying. It's all our fault. We could have fixed it, but instead we decided to save Chloe's dad. And now we have to decide. Do we go back and let Chloe's dad die and climate change will be slowed down 10 years? Because that totally makes sense. It's either, it's her dad or the whales. We have to choose. I'm just making this up. I'm not <laughs> saying this based on any fact. But there were definitely not whales on the beach previous, in our previous uh, storyline. So this is Chloe's house. She probably doesn't live there. Max Caulfield. She still taking lives a break there? Taking after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. Her, her dad We thought we'd there. never see you again after you left for the big city. Maybe her parents no. divorced anyways. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe! You have a visitor! Watch, she'd be like way worse off. Fuck. Yeah, why is our face like that? No! Oh, 
Ага. Угу. Achievement unlocked chaos theory. But why? Because we can fix it. We saved her dad. Now we can just ask questions. What happened to her? When was it? Let me know. I'll just do a little rewind time. I'll go back and we'll prevent it. Right? Like we can fix that too. And we're just going to end up in this perpetual loop of fixing someone else's storyline. Trying to completely readjust for someone else to try and make them happy. And that will prove to show that you as an individual are logistically, realistically, fundamentally incapable of fixing everything, whether for someone else or for yourself. That's it, that's the moral of the story, right? You can't fix everything. That was the same plot line. Well, not exactly. <laughs> I mean, we're not done the game. But uh, the butterfly effect, that movie that came out like 15 years ago with, uh, is it Britney Smart? Or Amy Smart, I believe. And Ashton Kutcher. It was kind of like that. Like he would try and rewind, uh, or his version of it. I kind of forget exactly how he accessed his power. Was it through a book? Or his diary, I think. Yeah, he would read his diary and he'd be able to go back to those points in time. But no matter what he did, he was always trying to make life better for the the female character in the story. I believe it was Amy Smart. And in like one circumstance, they end up as like really popular sorority, but I can't remember if it was his friend or other people. There was really bad trauma or hurt associated with that storyline. In one, he ends up in a wheelchair. In another storyline, she ends up basically as like a drug addict, a drug addicted, um, someone working in like sex work, I believe. And she's just like not doing well. And basically the, the whole movie is about how no matter what he does, he can never make the right scenario where he and her are happy because you can't fix everything. And uh, I guess that's what's happening here. I wonder if we're gonna have a chance in the next episode to decide to go back again. It'd be too easy if this game just let us go back and also fix her and also save her dad. I feel like they're gonna force us to pick one or the other. And the the problem presented to us is like, if, if we get the chance to go back, maybe it's, do you wanna go back and not save her dad and then her life will look the same as what we've already seen? Or do you wanna leave it the way it is? And you basically have a life kind of without Chloe, it seems. And she is, yeah, she's in a wheelchair. It's, it's kind of unclear whether she's fully paralyzed or what's happening. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, I do hope we learn what happens to Chloe and, and how she ended up like that. Because I don't think that has anything to do with her dad taking the bus that day. Also the whales. <laughs> also the whales. Holy shit. Yeah. This is the, the trolley problem for teenagers. Well, yeah, I'm not, I don't mean to reduce that, but we're playing as teenagers. So, you know, we, as a teenage game uh, character have to decide what makes sense here. Now you could look at it this way. Technically the dad and Chloe are still alive. I don't see how her dad's like, not death is has should be related to her ending up in a wheelchair like that doesn't make sense to me <laughs> i feel like there's something missing there it was obviously an isolated independent event after her dad did not die but yeah you could look at it this way they're both alive so that's better than one dead but obviously if there was an accident that could have been prevented that's always ideal. Whether it's if someone ended up dead by, via that accident or whether someone ended up seriously incapacitated via that accident, you would hope you could avoid it if possible. Is Chloe's mom alive? I don't know, we haven't seen anything. 
maybe she's dying? Yeah, maybe. Like, I, we don't know. We know nothing about her condition or her prognosis. Holy shit. Wow. Tyler! It's okay! Tyler's upset! Tyler, come here, boy. Come here. Say hi. Say hi. That was an episode. Holy shit, guys. Hope you guys are okay. You smell my food? It's Siler Boy. Holy shit. Okay, he wants to. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Um, oops. Nah. Ah! <laughs> I meant. Okay, let's let's do this quickly. You stole the money. Or sorry. 52% you left the money. Wow, that's pretty close. You didn't kiss you 78% kiss Chloe. 78% <laughs> were like, "Ooh, I like this game." <laughs> yeah. 22% sided with David. I mean, that was the obvious choice to side with Chloe if we're playing on emotions. I thought maybe there's like an extra layer here to outsmart him, but I don't think this game had that. You kept Frank's dog from harm, 95%. Ew, who's the 5%? <laughs> Frank has David's gun, 34%. Oh, rather than Chloe. Oh, yeah, yeah, because that's from before. Lisa is alive. What's Lisa, the plant? You helped Warren with his exam. Oh, yeah, because we cheated. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> you were on the Vortex party list. You didn't change the Vortex party list. Oh, we did both? You erased the cop's answer phone message. You didn't help Alyssa. But it was like a puddle. Like, oh my God. You know, we're trying to solve murders here respectfully. I know, we're probably going to get in trouble for not helping her with these minor tasks. But whatever. I don't want to be baited by a game. You didn't warn the homeless woman. What? I don't even... What? <laughs> I d was that a scene I totally skipped over? You didn't take a photo in the past. I did, but then I reround and then I forgot. You left a mark on the fireplace. I did leave a mark on the fireplace. I don't know why, but I did. That's the preview. <gasps> oh, I just got chills. That's the dark room. Guess what? We're going clubbing! Guys, we're going clubbing next Wednesday. Mms, 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 mms. Wait, are we like, so we're at the same school in a vortex club. I wonder if we're gonna be given the chance to rewind again or if like the game's like, nope, cabs are here, we're going clubbing, that's it. This is your life now, deal with your choices. Holy shit, okay, well. Wow, how is everyone? Woo! Woo! You wanna see my food? <laughs> you wanna see what Ben made me? Turn on camera. Hello? I just switched the battery. And hello, there it is. <laughs> this is what Ben made me. Wow, 
It's garlicky tortellini with green beans. Delicious. Thank you, man. Here. Have some. It's shrimp scampolini. There's little shrimps in there, I swear. Is everyone okay? <laughs> holy shit. Like, holy shit. I know there's people who have strong feelings about Chloe, and maybe this is why people seem to like try and tell other people not to hate on Chloe. Maybe it's because they already knew about this future or alternative life for her. But I encourage you to not like say things about characters that are inherently spoilers like that and just allow people, including myself, to kind of watch and judge as the scenes and information is presented because that's kind of the whole point. Like we're gonna maybe change our mind later as we uncover more information. That's kind of the, the whole point of the game. Uh, I would just expect in terms of uh, you know, how they write games. So, if you love Chloe or you hate Chloe, that's that's fine. I, I still think two things are true at once. You know, you can still understand how someone has dealt with trauma and issues that were totally not their fault and were at the hands of other people causing her harm and feel bad for that person and try and offer them support. But you don't have to necessarily do that at your own expense to to the extent that it's gonna have like such a detrimental impact on your own mental health. So I think that's kind of an important point that I'm, that's my way of seeing this situation rather than by default, like doing whatever she says because she has trauma. So it's it's a little bit of a gray area, but I think thinking about it through a more like mature, what is the best from a long-term meaningful support um, that doesn't put the place the entire burden on you as a also 18 year old person dealing with it, but if you're a teenager playing this game, maybe your lens through which you view life is a little bit different than like some 33 year old lady. <laughs> Did I just call myself 33? I'm 34. Wow, lying, lying to you. But that's how I see it. Maybe I'm gonna change my mind as more information comes. And then I'd also seen people just comment on how they didn't like how this game was presenting someone as disabled as like a bad outcome. And I mean, I, I totally understand your position and how it appears like that's what the game is doing and making you feel like you made the wrong choice because now she's in this position. I think I wanna see where the game's going with this to see what, you know, how that happened, if it was an accident. If it's a preventable accident and we could rewind, then I think most people would agree that that's something you would like to do. Um, but if it's more of a like lifelong debilitating thing that she was always gonna have, then maybe you'd look at it through a little bit of a different lens. But um, this game was made in, what was it, 2015? So maybe there's some nuance that's like maybe not as updated with how people would analyze or talk about things today. And we've already seen that through a lot of the ways that they've expressed things in this game, like blatantly like calling uh, the, our main character, um, Max, like a hero constantly for like helping Kate not jump basically. And that was very discomforting. It felt like something people would have done years ago. Um, it's just like people I think have changed how they think about things, how they approach things. So I think there's some of that at play because we're playing a game that's older. So some of the things being said maybe isn't really as respectfully as we would put them today. Weird to think 2015 was almost 10 years ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Watch the next episode to see more about Chloe's accident. There's more beyond a, dis a disability. So yeah, we're gonna play the next episode. Speaking of that, next Wednesday, 
Same time, same place. You know what to do. Simply not logical. Where did the time go? I don't know, procrastination. <laughs> You've been moderating for four hours. <laughs> Thank you. I know this story is is an investment. I'm invested. I need to know. I need to, to know and rewind and know more. And I wish I could do that in real life. But then I'd be terrified of the butterfly effect. Like what's happening now? All right. So on that note, um, I'll see you guys next this Saturday. We're just gonna do, we're gonna do a chill, simply male logical. I've been very busy lately, doing stuff for Hollow Barista and then some new stuff. <laughs> so like I feel like I need a male logical just to chill. It's also been a long time, and I need to continue cleaning out my shower. So yes, that's what we're gonna do this Saturday, and then Wednesday we'll resume. And I want to know. I need to know more about what's happening. So we're going to do episode four, Life is Strange. Side note, check Discord for sock recommendations. I will. Thank you, Kanani. I'm definitely going to look if people <laughs> suggested some socks. All right, everyone. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful cup of tea or something calming after this if you need it. I hope you have a good rest of the week at school, work, or whatever it is that you do, painting your nails, you know, whatever. And I will see you guys all on Saturday and then Wednesday again. All right. Thanks so much for watching. See you all later. Bye.